Hello, hello everybody. We are going to be playing this here. Digimon Cyber Sleuth. I still don't know why this is like the loudest game at start. And hilariously, you can't change the settings because if we click button, let me just make sure it's actually the window selected. If we... Ah, dang it. Apparently this game is not hot swappable with controller. Dang it. Also, this sounds like Danganronpa to me. But we're gonna... It's already gonna be a funky start anyway, so... Let's try it again, see if it'll work. It should. It said that it's controller compatible. But you can never tell. Oh nope, I can I can skip through some of the opening opening. So yeah, it's just not hot swappable, I guess, maybe. Technology be weird. But yeah, twentieth Digimon adventure. But yeah, I'm a fan of Digimon. I need to watch more Digimon beyond just Adventure, Adventure O2 and Tamers. But as I was saying, no access to settings. Which also doesn't help, because for some reason, the game only launches in window mode? And like, specifically 720p, I'm guessing. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna have a ride, I think, right from the start. The continues there because I accidentally clicked new game. But, so yeah, we're probably going to get our intro cutscene. I'm immediately going to change the settings, which will mean I'll probably have to change the look on the, <laughs> on the OBS screen, because beforehand, it looked more like this. So yeah. Weird ports from Japanese companies, you know. But let's get on. I've heard good things about Digimon Cyber Sleuth, and I've also, uh, can't wait for Digimon Survive to come out, so... Yay, lots of things. Welcome to the Digilab. This is the place to make connection with the digital world. It is a door into cyberspace. The fact that- oh, they, they're going fast, I can't comment. Where they actually fate carved into this place. Alrighty. And so you have a choice to make. Which of these two fates will you take as your own? Oh, yeah, Hacker's memory is... Blah, 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 unfold the real world in the digital... I, I was going to comment, but it just keeps going! You can view the story through the eyes of two humans who are caught up in these events at the same time. Cybersolus is the first one, Hacker's memory is the kind of sequel, I believe. The role you fulfill in this tale will depend on whose shoes you decide to stand in. From the, whose point of view will you recall the story? Go on, then choose. So yeah. Cyber Sleuth came out first, and then Hacker's Memory... Yeah, story of a novice hack... Uh, of novice of a certain hacker team. Another view of this world from the hacker's eye. So, more than likely, we'll be able to just play through them both. And I think there's actually, like, uh, crossover stuff where if you do things in Cyber Sleuth... Certain things will then appear in Hacker's Memory. So we're going to start with the base game because it came out first and that's just the way to um, experience the game. Start the story of Cyber Sleuth. Why is it so loud and high pitched? Change options? Yes, please. Minimap show. Partner Digimon. Yes, show my partner Digimon. It's why we're here! Data use agreement, I'm pretty sure if I say no, it'll just kick me out, so we, we don't mess with that. Oh. <laughs> it only has one resolution type. Full screen, please. And see, this is why we need to then come over here. Fix it. Alright, luckily it's relatively painless to set that up. But let's see. Digimon voices, sure. Set party Digimon voices on or off during battle. I want to hear my Digimon. Battle cutscenes, normal, short. I'll keep them normal for now. We can speed them up later. 
and uh, because I already did my own, like, management of the sound, things should be okay. I'll just hope. Begin with these settings. Well, let's take a look at button settings. Ah. <laughs> it tells me nothing. Begin with these settings. Begin with these settings. Window upon window. You have made your choice. What happens next shall be as fate directs. Go on now. Until we meet again inside the story, that is. Also, does this change the, like, perspective? Like, are we controlling this person? Select a chat room. Do I actually select a chat room? Name Ayaoba. <laughs> oh, I, I thought I was controlling it for a second. Aw. <laughs> That would have been funny. Please wait, we're loading your chat room. Welcome! Hi there. I'm going to interrogate you. Shoot, I lost. Oh, there's lots of things. But there are 720p, so I can't lead them! I love you! Going next to the concert? Lol. I think I saw Super Discord. You watched TV yesterday? I did, it was awesome. So, what, is this, like, Guilty Gear chat room? Oh, hey, there's me, Ioba. Hey, guys, ever heard of Digimon? I love that show. What's this all of a sudden? You're talking about Digimon programs, right? Those dangerous programs used by hackers. Oh, it's an old man. Dangerous? How dangerous exactly? They can break through security, steal data, into password-protected forums with ease. Oh no, not the password-protected forums. Those programs can do all kinds of nasty things. They're behind most of the incidents that have been happening. Wow, Digimon sounds so but My friend got his account targeted by them. No way. When did that happen? In some areas, Digimon roam around on their own. Wait a minute. Digimon can move? It sounds like these programs have avatars, kind of like monsters. Digimon, like digital monsters? Exactly! When did this happen exactly? Mr. Navit has logged in. He's a razor! <laughs> okay, I was kind of right. He's a saw. Eden? Why is your avatar bigger than everybody else? You think you're better than us? Yo, what's up, people? What? It's Mr. Nabbit. Huh? You mean the Eden mascot? Sorry, man. No solicitations. <laughs> what the heck? Why would an Eden official come all the way out here? This is a private room, you know. Just who are you? And what's with the greeting? Hardly suiting in an, an official. Wait a minute. Is he a hacker? Speak of the devil. For real? That's right. I'm Mr. Nabbit, the hacker. I have a fantastic present for all of you. Be sure to log in to Eden tomorrow. Don't forget now, if you don't log in, I'll hack you. Well, that sounds fun. Bye-bye now. <laughs> Mr. Navit has logged out. What the heck? Was that an actual hacker? No way, dude. I think someone's playing a prank on us. Sounds like fun, don't it? Let's check it out. It's just... <laughs> I wouldn't... I don't know. I have no idea. What? Don't tell me you're all chicken. What? You want to go, Aquino? What'll you do if it's a real hack? <laughs> it's just PR for needing a bit, ain't it? A real hack would be cooler, though. Sounds like I can't stop you. Fine, then. I'll come with. What? Is this a date now? You asking me out all of a sudden? Anyway. Just ignore her. <laughs> Anyone else come with us? Better safe than sorry, I'm out. I'll pass. Me too. I'm Ayu uh, Ayauba. I'm in. <laughs> I'll go to the hacker event. Apparently. <laughs> and so the chatting continued. Akino and Blue Box went on with their late night gab fest. As always, topics were loose with no real focus. Yeah, that. <laughs> Relatable! Whoever made this game knows chat rooms! Eventually, dawn broke outside their windows. That was the day they were finally going to meet in Eden. They spent the day much as they did the day before. And then the appointed time drew near. I 
I guess I'll go with the cute avatar. And as always... No, no, no. How dare you. Dee -dee -dee. Your name may be seen by many people over the network. Please be careful. Sure thing. Log in. Log in with the interdata. Sure. That's why I put it in. Oh no, it's missing a... Eden. Kamishiro Enterprise. I'm being drawn in! What is this, Sword Art Online? Welcome to the Digital Garden of Eden. Eden is a virtual meta <laughs> metaverse, providing several revolutionary services and a new generation of digital content. Metaverse! Bountiful entertainment includes shopping and movies, everything from corporation transactions to political administration. Everyone's needs are met. I'll be more than happy to introduce some of the available services that will be part of your daily life. Dear God, this is kind of like Metaverse. The future of the net is not behind a screen. It is intuitive virtual reality through the use of avatars. Did, did Facebook just steal this? I do hope you enjoy using our cutting-edge cyberspace services. Seriously. Eden is a human network connecting the world to the future run by Kamishiro Enterprises. Seriously, this is exactly like Metaverse from Facebook. It's wacky as all hell. The entrance to Eden. This is where we promised to meet. I'm here a little earlier than we'd agreed on. I'm guessing Akino and Blue Box still aren't here. Alright, that guy looks kind of cool. There's just a businessman, a little girl. You're in a virtual world and you're just standing around? This isn't even like VR chat. This will be the first time I've met them outside a chat room. I don't know what their avatars look like, though. But I should be able to figure it out. I'll try making small talk with the Eden avatars in the area. Alright. Uh, there is... Okay. I cannot change the cameras like, uh... I can zoom in and out, but I can't, uh... Do anything else. Hello, dude. That round thing with the arrow is the access point. You can use it to travel around Eden. Intellectual businessman. Rude male student. Huh, what? Oh, what indeed. I've heard there's an area in Eden filled with hackers. Why wouldn't the company shut such a dangerous area down at once? Because they want a true society. We live in a society. We'll leave the interesting looking guy alone for now. I'm logged in from abroad. It's all thanks to Eden that I can keep up with my buddies. Discord. Skype. Any number of things. Twitter? You, d you don't need, like, a full-body VR experience to keep up with your buddies. Look there. No, don't be obvious. It's a hacker. You shouldn't get too close. Because he looks like a punk. Or are you talking about the little girl? I got a cell phone digivice for my birthday. Yours are those goggles. They're pretty sweet. Next time, I'll pick some up. <laughs> Anxious father. Digivices log in to Eden and the voice features are handy. Still, maybe my daughter's too young for one. I'm worried about security. He is a reasonable father. Hello, apparently hacker. Creepy hacker. He says nothing. Wonderful woman! This entrance is one of the largest in all of Eden. There's even a pavilion further in. Have you heard of pavilions? Pavilions are places where companies can safely and securely do business over Eden. Unfortunately, they aren't open to the public. For many errands at the bank or post office, the forms can all be taken care of here in Eden. This really is the world of convenience. Knowledgeable dude! <laughs> You can access points to get to areas of connections that are always live. But to go anyplace else, you'll need the URL. Today I'm logging in from a top class salon in Rapong. Is it G, G, or is it silent? I don't know. 
Both the service and the avatar management are first rate. I've been to Shinjuku and Shibuya's Eden uh, spots, but the login areas and cafes are packed and what's more, filthy. I deserve better. Oh, uh, shoot. I'm not supposed to be at this pavilion today. I messed up the URL again. That would be funny. It's basically flu powder, but digital. We have like, I want to go to this place. And then you get teleported and like, ah, shit. I went to the wrong place. Digital Harry Potter. Flashy dude. Heard a rumor. There's a ghost going round Eden. If you ask around, you hear stories about the white boy. Go white boy, go white boy dance. <laughs> But if you look real close, the facial texture's all messed up. The arms and legs are slimy tentacles. Its real form is the demon of the creeping darkness. It comes up to your avatar and snaps it up, chomp chomp. That's the rumor, anyway. Well, if some, e unless this really is Sword Art Online and your consciousness gets et with your avatar, I'm sure that somebody would have had the, like, experience and would have posted about it elsewhere. Nowadays, business being able to work at a company's Eden branch is a huge status symbol. I guess I understand now why they were kind of like, kind of informal for, like, Eden official to talk like that. What now? What now, what now? What now? Father the nervous woman into a breakdown. Even though I'm in the digital world, my avatar looks just like the real me. I know it's supposed to cut down on crime, but it still sucks. Huh, that, that's kind of interesting. They're cutting down on digital crime by forcing you to put yourself in the game. Looking for your friend? If they're not here, did you try looking at the community area? It's an open area just like the entrance, so you can get there from any terminal. No! There was a shiny! There was a shiny! No! They don't seem to be any avatars like them. I guess I showed up too early after all. Yes, yes, dot, dot, dot. There's still time left before our meeting. I should check out some of the other areas. Don't you dare take me away from this place. I saw the shiny. I want to hit the shiny. Shiny! Got gummy mon mo me 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 <laughs> gummy mo metal. Digivice. I don't have any Digimon. I can save. Let's save. I like this, like, custom save screen. It looks really nice. Digiline. Digifarm. Friends. I apparently have no friends. Field guide. Options. Keyword? Huh. Okay. Player. I have 2,000 yen. I apparently have a sleuth rank. I have a hacking skill. I can take on cases, and I have unlocked no tutorials. But what's a gummy mon muddle? Apparently, I have HP, SP, and poison recovery. No equipment, no farm goods, key. Cyber sleuth garb. It's a costume. In Odin school attire. Digimon medal. A medal from the gummy mon. Hmm. Very interesting and weird. Return to toggle screen? No. Hello, child. I think Eden avatars move faster than real people. Or maybe you're just slow. <laughs> it's fine. It's no more running than gym. It's just an avatar, so it won't affect his muscles. But it'll be good image training, no? Image training. What's that? I don't know. Hey, now, keep running like that and you're going to fall. Even as an avatar, it'll still hurt. Why would you program it like that? Why would anyone program it like that? <laughs> Why would you be like, you know what the virtual world needs? Pain! And these two look unique. Nope, never mind. They look unique from a distance. Where is she? I was supposed to meet my friend ages ago, but I don't see her anywhere. They're probably being eaten by a Digimon. My friend's late. I wonder if there was a problem with her access point. The public ones are better, but expensive, so she usually logs in from home. Okay, so there are public access points to the digital world. So, like, are we physically here? Or is this, like, 
I don't know. We're gonna tell. Wait, let's go teleporting around. Moving in Eden. Use the directional buttons to choose a destination. If there are new areas that you can go to, they will be indicated with new. Selecting log out from the options on the left will return you to the point you use to access Eden. You can go to Eden community area now. Let's go to the community area. It seems rather small for the community area. Oh, there's a shiny. I'm gonna grab that shiny. That shiny's gonna be mine. Give me the shiny. This is the community area. I like this place. It's quiet and relaxed. Not my Digivice's talk feature is getting a call. Who could it be? Huh? Hi there. It's me, Mr. Navit. Just one sec. You're behind schedule, silly. You're gonna be late. Hurry up. Come to the Galactica Park in Kowloon. Your two friends arrived a little while ago and are waiting for you. I have a gift for you all, but everyone has to be there first. Bye-bye. Kowloon? Isn't that the dangerous area full of hackers? What should I do? I have to hurry. Okay, calm down. No need to panic. I wonder what he meant by gift. Anyway, let's go to the Galactica Park in Kowloon. I've never even been anywhere near Kowloon. How do I get there? The hacker guy. I'll have to ask him. There might be someone here who knows how to get to the Galactica Park in Kowloon. I'd better ask around. You got keyword Galactica Park Kowloon. So you can actually talk to people of keywords. Kind of like old-timey RPGs. During conversations, you will hear keywords. Keywords will mark characters of a lock icon. This means that you can ask that character about keywords. Close lock or open lock? If you ask the right character about a certain keyword, the lock will open and you will learn some new information. I found a sparkly thing at the end of the street and then I saw something awesome. Uh-huh. Weird. But I saw a sparkly and I want it. Give. Give. <laughs> I didn't even see what it was because I was there. I was pressing sub because it wouldn't go. And I like, pressed again and it wouldn't go. So I pressed and I pressed and I pressed. It was like, way. And then it happened and then I missed it. I got a Minamon medal. I don't know what the medals are. Is that the latest Digivice? Sweet. If I had one, I could do so much. So the term Digivice stands for Digital Di Digital Du Jour Standard Terminal. What? <laughs> My buddy's cousin friend said so. Ah, so he's full of shit. That monument's a miniature of Eden. Whatever you say, my dude. And I clickety clicked too fast. I just want to know what's in my inventory. So let's take a look. Upamon Medal. Once more, don't know what the medals are. This little girl is smart. She doesn't want to talk to strangers. I thought I'd meet with my friends to go shopping, but there's so many shops here in Eden. Just one is enough. Imagine doing physical shopping in a digital world. I may be too old to get far in the real world, but here in Eden, my avatar can go for miles. It's real nice. So sitting people typically don't care. The top areas for Eden officials of government agencies and big corporations. It's so glitzy. And then the bottom level. It's filled with old trash data. They say it's pretty seedy. <laughs> Why would you have physical trash data in your virtual world? I've heard the virus attacks all originate down there. It's a real public nuisance. Kind of busy here. Galactica Park Kowloon. What? You want to go to Kowloon? But why? It's lawless and filled with hackers. Besides, if it's what you're into, we're done here. Go talk to a hacker if you want to know about it. There's a hacker-looking thug near the entrance. Don't blame me for your foolish decisions. Grow up and take responsibility for yourself. That's what I figured. Like, from the start, it's just like, hey, go talk to the hacker-looking guy. And the game's like, I'm gonna look around here. I'll go talk to this lady first, because it's the obvious answer. What now? Galactica Park. 
cow lung cracker parts? What, what's that supposed to be? It sounds awful. Oh, you make cow lung galactica park? I don't know that one either. Sorry, maybe you should ask someone else. Why would you even include her? If you could... <laughs> I don't understand. Hey, hacker man. Galactica Park Kowloon. I want to go to Galactica Park in Kowloon. That's what you think you want, isn't it? I'll show you the way. This is the URL to their area. Take it. I got the URL. Now I can go to Kowloon. Creepy hacker. <laughs> He didn't even say anything behind me. He just stood there and crossed his arms. Hilarious. You can now go to Kowloon level one. So yeah, just <laughs> kind of weird. I kind of dig it. Still don't know why the main music <laughs> sounded like Danganronpa, at least to me. Look at all the digital pal things that were just flying by. Who's that dude? He's looking at me. How dare you look at me while I'm flying? Don't you know it's rude? Where did everybody go? You've got to be kidding. No, you're late. So late. I thought we were going to meet up at the actual entrance. Get off my case. This place is creepy. This looks like Persona. Sorry I'm late. Uh, sorry I'm late. I'm Nian. I go by Aiba. Uh, hey, yep, I'm Akino. This is your first time in Eden, right? My real name is Nokia Sheramin. Uh, Sha... Shira Mine, I assume, is how it's pronounced. Not Shira Mine. <laughs> the uh, American pronunciation. Hello, nice to meet you. Do a quirky pose. Not! How dare! You're late, what were you doing? Leave me all alone, it's such a dangerous place. How would you feel if you were in my shoes? I didn't even know we were supposed to meet here before I was already late. You're asking if Blue Box has shown up yet? Oh, he showed up all right, but what does that even matter? Like, can you believe all this? He's all, oh, I've got to go and find a ghost, and all of a sudden he's running off by himself. That's how he rolls, apparently. 100% full of himself. Thinks he's all that just because he's got a good looks or whatever. <laughs> Meanwhile, you're just crazy. And so, like... What? The ghost of the pale boy? I've heard the rumors, but I don't know the details. What does he even plan to do if he finds it? Die, most likely. I mean, ghosts in cyberspace? That's unscientific. <laughs> There's a ghost in the machine. It doesn't even make any sense. Not that I'm scared or nothing. <laughs> Hilarious. Oh, whoa. Overreacting a bit there, aren't we? Oh, jeez, Arata. It's just you. I, I thought you were a ghost. Sheesh. You don't have to act all tough by coming to a place like this if you're chicken, you know. Hey, now! You're the one who ditched me in the place like this, Arata, you slimy little no-good. Ah, uh, just shut your trap. Anyhow. We've never met before here, have we? I'm Arata Sanada. Nice to meet you and all that. <laughs> Hey now, that's no proper introduction. You must have put two to two together by now, but this is the person behind Blue Box. He's not what you imagined, is he? In the chat, he's kind and considerate, like a reliable big brother figure, right? When I first met him, I was really weirded out. He's surly, self-absorbed, he's just got this weird look in his eye. He kinda does. I mean, talk about a waste of good looks, am I right? Leave the stupidity for later, okay? Oh, while I was waiting for Neon, I took a look around. I thought that Mr. Navit fellow who called us here might be around. What? I thought you were looking for a ghost! Well, I was doing a little of that, too. But in the end, I found neither. Rather, there wasn't anyone around to be found. You'd think there'd be one or two hackers in an area like Kowloon, no matter how dangerous it is. 
Ring-a-ding-ding, it's Navit. So very sorry to keep you waiting. I'm Mr. Navit. I've got something for all you good boys and girls who showed up here today. This is the miraculous power to change the world. What? What is this? It's hacking. We've all been hacked. Our bodies. He's hacking the planet. A new program has been installed. Digimon Capture. Whoa, this Mr. Navit fellow is no slouch. He broke through my firewall like it was nothing. Digimon Capture. It's a hacking tool that's been making the rounds of hackers lately. Wait, so when you say Digimon, you mean like Digimon Digimon? Yes, those Digimon. The ones you're so interested in. Hmm, there's a certain kind of data known as digital monsters that you... Then you... Are they like... Does that mean that you can capture or then you can capture by scanning? This thing says... Ah, so Digimon is short for digital monster. Uh, what? Uh, whoa, hey, hang on! Digimon are like nasty programs that hackers use, right? So then, so then, so then, <laughs> that means, have we become hackers? That's not how that works. Oh no, you have a program that is used by hackers. If you also use Windows and Linux, maybe you're a hacker as well. Just by possession. These two are idiots. You, you don't just become a hacker if you have a program. Maybe in this world, but not in the real world. And technically, this is supposed to be the real world, but technically, digital world within the real world, but hey. Oh, it's no big deal. Hackers are nothing out of the ordinary nowadays. No, hey, no, nah, hackers are bad news. I am not doing this. I don't want any part of this. I'm gonna delete this program. What? No, wait, you've gotta be kidding me. I can't uninstall this thing. Wow, it's like an iPhone. Leave it be. The program's protected. Who knows what will happen if you force delete it? Hey, what do you mean? Oh no! A basketball! Man, they, they were fast! Eh? So that was Mr. Navit? Don't let them get away! Get back here, hacker man! Arata, hold up! Why are we chasing him? I'm, I'm out of here. I'm going home, you hear? Lol, you're trapped here. I'm not trapped in here with you. You're trapped in here with me. He wasn't here before. What's it doing here? Obviously to keep us here. Did some hacker do this too? Is, is this telling us to keep going onward? Are they not letting us go back home? Exclamation. Arata could be in trouble. Well, let's go after him. No, I'm not. I won't. The exit could be there too, you know. Guess I picked the wrong choice. Save. You can, yep, you can save at any time. Make sure you save frequently so you don't regret if you get a game over. Then again, that also feels like the kind of... Like, event where you just like, oh, make a choice and then... Uh, like, you don't really get a choice choice. Kind of like the earlier choice that was panic or stay calm. Does the Kowloon area stretch all the way back through here? It feels totally different from the cyberspace areas on the upper part of the Eden network. There's no trace of Arata. He may have gone further inside. I should be careful. Hmm, is that just a bolt or is it, is it a joystick? You see a thing? There was a person. It's a digi ghost. I'm going towards the Digi-Ghost. What the hell? He's a ghost. 
Quit getting closer. Oh no. My video card is breaking in the universe. Would the video card be your eyes in this universe? Well, something has been in th um, either explosion dynamite or like end of tail. Incorrectly snaked box. Like a broken hourglass with a snowflake. Box box. The golden path from tunic. Asterisk in a box. Mangled dinosaur with an asterisk and asterisk in a box has been inscribed. You can't just digitally roofie someone to inscribe something in their soul. What was that? I don't fucking know. Kowloon's as dangerous as they say. Who knows what might have happened here? I better hurry up and find a rod and get out of here. Oh, hey, it's the guy that inscribed something on me. Well, nope, they look similar, but not exactly. What's wrong? You look like you've seen a ghost. You saw a ghost that looked like me. Hmm, if that's true, that ghost might have been me. Some call me the Wraith of Eden. They say I'm not of this world. The truth is simply that I'm rather elusive and tend to turn up unexpectedly. That's all. Please, relax. I'm not a ghost. I'm very real here at Eden. I exist to guide those who are lost, like you. You've just had a program installed, Digimon Capture, which marks you as a hacker. But you are still merely a fledgling hacker. There are hackers with a wide variety of different goals here in Eden. Chivalrous ones who find and report security holes. Thieves who steal accounts to rob money and data. Others are just out to prove their skills. Truly a wide variety. What kind of hacker do you want to be? I guess I wouldn't mind stealing from bad people, but mostly patch up security holes. I suppose I'll be a white hat hacker. Because, you know, my fur. You are indeed a fledgling, if that is your only response. Not even a hatched from your egg yet. You're free to become a hacker if you want, or something else altogether. It's all up to you. Which led? What led you to this is neither here nor there. You came here because you were interested in hacking, and now, because of that, you've got the Digimon Capture program, yes? I would therefore recommend you give the remarkable power of these Digimon programs a try. Yeah, that's fine. Now to commemorate your birth as a fellow hacker to be, I shall present you with your first Digimon. There behind you. That is a Digimon program. What Digimon shall it be? Ah! Multiple. Patamon? No, not Patamon. Ah, I forget their names. It's been five billion years. There are three different type of Pokemon there, but you can only take one. Which will you choose? The adorable animal type? The possibly... Mm. I will take Momentai. I forget his name. It's been a long time. I was hoping for a Gatomon. Hopefully... Mm. But at the same time, this will be like my partner Pokemon. Mm. Eh, I'll go with... Uh... I forget her name, the plant one. Palmon. That Digimon. You want Palmon? Palmon it is. You seem to have made up your mind. Okay, let's bring you out of your shell. Several steps are required to obtain a Digimon. If you discover or encounter a Digimon program, run a scan and then acquire the analyzed data. Those are all done with Digimon Capture. You can use that without any restrictions. But just because you got the analyzed data doesn't mean the Digimon program itself is yours. First, you must convert it. You must launch the Digimon program and implement it in cyberspace, first and foremost. Only then can it serve as a digital monster. A hacking program 
that is not to be trifled with. Unlike Scan, however, Convert is not part of the Digimon Capture application. We hackers finally devised the technique needed, but certain rules were put in place regarding how it's used in order to control how this program is exercised. Your chosen Digimon program is still weak, but it will grow in power and digivolve. As you gain experience as a hacker, your programs will become more powerful as well. Someday immense power might be yours. When that day comes, responsibility will come along with it. Hackers may be free spirits, but they must never succumb to chaos. Never that. I'm sure most of this went over your head, but tuck it away in a corner of your mind. Besides, merely having Digimon Capture gives you hacker status. It's a special program, but... A hacker's abilities, values, and goals can all be seen in how well that hacker can use Digimon programs. Because of protecting the Order of Eden as a hacker's first duty. I'd be very happy if you would try to become that kind of hacker. After all, hackers have been with Eden since its inception. This is, this is a program made by hackers. You want the Digimon right now? I see. You heard what I had to say and decided you wanted to become a proud hacker too. Excellent. <laughs> I just want the cute animal Digimonster. Well then, follow the steps. Start with a scan. Have Digimon capture running and target a... Huh, indeed. Noise. It's chasing my Digimon! Hmm. But I wonder what affects the Digimon that first come out, because... I distinctly remember seeing, like, a clip of Agumon being the one that peeks around the pillar, like, uh... Ah, uh, I forget his name. Momentai does. The Digimon I prepared for you went and ran away! Yeah, plenty of other Digimon. We'll find another. Wait just a moment. That did surprise me, though, for a Digimon as tough as that one to appear in this area. Could have been released as a bad joke by a low-level hacker, or as an attack on me by someone. Why would someone attack you by running off Digimon like that? What's that? You want to go after it? You want a powerful Digimon like that? No, you couldn't handle it. Forget about it. But my Palmon! What's that? You're concerned about the Digimon being chased. You're a curious one. Still, all, that's all the more reason to leave it be. You'd be look foolish if you got hurt interfering in a fight between two mere programs. Aren't we mere programs at the current moment? I have to go help! If that's what you want, then you should do it. Chase after it if that's your decision. But I see an item back here. I shall save. To be safe. <laughs> we are 42 minutes through this game, and uh, it's just been lots of talking. My Palmon! Punch it! Punch it in its eye! Oh boy, you really are new at it. Do you intend to face off against a digital monster unarmed? I mean, I've never seen a digital monster before, Ghost Boy. You truly are curious. No, you're just a soft touch, that's it. What a coincidence, I'm both of those things as well. Just this once, allow me to aid you. You, um, needn't do anything for the moment. Watch and learn. This is how a real hacker uses their skills. <laughs> Palman wants a fight! Well, it seems it wants to fight with you. It may be... It may, it may have been something of an ordeal, but that Digimon is now yours. Instruct it well and master the program. Now the question is, is this like Digimon Digimon, or are they like, can they talk? 15%. Stats and timeline. Enemy and ally stats as well as the timeline are displayed during battle. 
Digimon move in order from top of the timeline. Allies are blue, enemies are red, and guests are green. When a command is selected, the predicted post-action position is displayed. Battle commands. Issue commands to your allies to proceed with battle. Attack with X. For other commands, hold down the directional button or the left stick while pressing the X button. Huh. Guess it makes sense, maybe. To escape, hold down the R button and press the X button. Freely move your Digimon by pressing the option. Ah, you can move Digimon? Attack, regular attack, skill, use a skill, guard, halves the damage taken, item, use an item, change, switch out battle party members of backups. Auto heal, escape, play from battle. Hmm. said move my Digimon around with the option button, but I don't see it. I want to go to the auto mode options. Oh, that. Never, never mind. That's not what I meant. I just wanted to select it. See things. You did lots of damage, my friend. Let's see, can we use a skill? Physical attack, 65, plant damage to one foe, timber chance. Poison Ivy! I got the kill damage. Look at my adorable Digimon. Level up! Crescent Leaf. Special move, Inherited Skills. 95% accuracy. Three in... SPU's three Inherited Skills. Hmm. Interesting. I like the feel of it. I just didn't expect that to be. I thought it meant, like, I could actually move my Digimon in battle. But options just like, ah, time to go auto! It's very rare to obtain a Digimon without scanning it through Digimon Capture. What's more, for a program to like a person? Are you beginning to realize they may be real? Everything about this is odd. You'll probably be an irregular element among hackers. Anyway, you are free to from your shell now. The rest is up to you. I shall take my leave. But what do I do now? A young man with a nasty look in his eyes? Ah, the other irregular one, hmm? He was headed that, to that other area over there. Is he gonna be my rival? Is he gonna be a villain? Am I gonna have to kill him? Delete his Windows 32? That used to be the old Eden entrance area. The remains of Eden's creation. It's forgotten dregs. Proof of that lies in the fact that an original logout zone remains there untouched. It's lock protected and can't be used, but a hacker could probably deal with said lock. Yes, if you wanted to leave this place, it would be a good idea to use that logout zone. That boy should be able to unlock it with a snap. In a snap. I shall snap my fingers so that you unlock itself! As long as his skills haven't waned, that is. Wait, Arata is a hacker? Like a normal hacker? Why are you surprised? Don't tell me. He hasn't told you. In that case, it is not my story to tell. It's better to hear it from him directly. Well, thank you, Ghost Boy. You've been a lot of help. That's right. I haven't introduced myself. I'm Yugo. Yugo from Team Zaxxon. If you want to become a top-tier hacker, then you should seek us out. Our doors are always open to you. Well, no sense in thinking of conspiracy theories. Anyway, Murata was headed to that area over there. And there's supposed to be an old logout zone there. We might be able to log out. I'll go get Nokia. Setting skills. There are two types of skills, special moves and inherited skills. Special moves. Inherit skills obtained from the start. The details of these moves change after each time a Digimon digivolves or D digivolves. 
inherited skills. After digivolving or digivolving, previously known skills can be relearned by leveling up. Huh. Alright. A Digimon can learn up to 20 different skills. Once the number of skills exceeds 20, excess skills must be deleted. I want to talk to my Digi partner. So if I can go where Rada is, I can get out of here. Better take Nokia with me then. But, but the, the items! There are items! Wandering around by yourself, I see. Where did those twos go? Like, could hackers have maybe eaten them? Gasp in fear, it is me! Oh! No, this is where Agumon comes in. She gets Agumon or Gabumon. At least they talk, yay! Why didn't my Palmon talk? I am... There! I am... Very... I am... Jealous! What are they doing? Um, who are you? It, it can talk! It's so adorable! My name's Nokia. What are your names? Me? My name's Agumon. I'm, I'm Gabumon. Agumon, Gabumon, <laughs> what weird names. Hey, they're not weird. You're the one with the weird name. As if my name's not weird. <laughs> Huh? huh? What's wrong? Have my totes and dorbs good looks stunned you speechless? I can smell something. Something familiar. Wait, what? Me? Yeah, familiar and reassuring. Uh, what? Come on, this is kind of embarrassing. I'm sorry, guys. My naturally allergic pheromones are working for four today. I <laughs> see you are weird. Oh, Neon, where the heck have you been? Yikes, it, it's another scary person. I'm sick of being chased around. Run away! Hey, calm down. This is a friend of mine. I'm gonna have to chase after him. Ah, shucks. They're gone. Just what were those cute little critters? They were Digimon. But never mind that. Who's that with you? Th that's a Digimon? And those little cuties for Digimon 2? But both those Digimon and this one here, they don't seem like bad programs. Digimon, huh? Having cute critters like them around could be pretty okay. Maybe this Digimon capture thing won't be so bad after all. What? There was a violent well Digimon 2? Whatever it was sounds super duper scary. Arata's in the area through there. I'll go with you. Let's go find him ASAP. But I want to find... Oh, now we run into battle. Oh, hey, it's Agumon's, like, Digimon Scanner. The data of Digimon encountered in battles is automatically scanned and saved. Digimon with a 100% or higher scan rate can be materialized in the Digilab later and made into allies. Hmm. Let's try and knock one out of the park right away. Crescent Leaf! How dare you beat my salad Pokemon! Attack that one directly. I just want to make sure I killed one before two of them decide to go smickety smack on me. I hope we can actually like, talk to our Digimon. All kinds of Digimon lurk in dungeons. Moving around can trigger battles as you encounter Digimon. Be sure to pay attention to the health of your party, Digimon. Just want to make sure there was nothing there that could be seen or not. Probably should save, just to be safe. <laughs> And I can even check on my Digimon. And you can have pretty hefty reserves. 
Like, I wish I could change your Digimon's name, skill, name? Digimon accessories. Putting accessories on your Digimon gives them cool new looks. Customs do not change the stats. Most accessories can be bought using the coins you win through network battles. Neat. But you can rename them? Huh. That's interesting. Party memory, 5 of 20. Hmm. So I guess some Digimon take up more memory than others. Very interesting. Music's kind of odd. Got a scapegate? Gate escape, the ultimate ape. And let's see, what's an escape gate? Is it just like guaranteed a escape? Escape from battle. Yep, that's what I figured. It's pretty self-explanatory, but still. Onwards to more battle. Honestly, surprised we weren't attacked there. We only ever we only got those Agumon preforms. Hmm, something feels really strange. Like this all happened before when I was a kid. It's like I've met you in Arata before. Is that what Ghost Boy Yuga said about not his story to tell? No, not like we hadn't met yesterday in Shatter or anything like that. Not like maybe, yeah, maybe. Something strange. Don't go crazy. Uh oh, here we go again. What? Five people met here. Oh, we're the Digi Dustined. What was that? D did you see it? Again, with that, with hacking. Honestly, what is with this place? Let's go. Arata should be up ahead, right? Maybe he's being eaten by digital monsters. Software gore would be very different to this, in this world. Whatever you say, ghost man, wraith boy. What was that image just now? A child? I'm so weirded out. Darn it. I want to know what that was. Oh, this really does not feel right. Ah, there it is. There. Hang on. Hey, you're running off by yourself. You can't just think about yourself, you know. Is a Digimon going to attack us? What? Oh, hey, it's the tentacle monster. It's the star demonic monster from Ultimate, like, uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 3. What the fuck is that? What is this? What's that? Is that another Digimon? It can't be. The black monster of Eden people have been talking about. They say it devours your data. No, oh, not my Google Maps. You guys, this way. Run! Whatever this thing is, it's a real menace, that's for sure. I'll break through the lock on this thing. Log out, then get away as fast as you can. I thought we were going to expl explore a bit more. Hey, I told you to run, didn't I? Go on, get out of here. Uh, ooh, um... Hey! Why are you just standing there? What? Gee, Nokia, why do you get two Digimon? Hey, it's you guys again. We'll protect you, Nokia. Nokia, get out of here! I can't keep their voices straight. Palmon, join your friends! Alright, oh crap, it goes first. Deja is converging. Anti-panic. Oh. That's not good. Poison Ivy! Well, that's not good at all. This really is a Digimon story. It begins with a... 
Quick, guard! Erode, terminal. Don't eat Gobbleman! What should we do? It's too strong! Why am I so weak? We have to help Nokia and the others! Take them with us! Okay, the lock is taken care of! You can log out! Come on, Nokia, hurry! But what about them? Don't you get it? You're holding them back! They can't do anything until you get away! Neon, Nokia's logged out. I'll go next. You hurry on after us, okay? Don't you dare... Oh, okay, that was close. Oh no, and it did grab me. That's not nice at all. Find us. Warning. An unexpected error occurred during the logout process for Neon Aiba. The logout process cannot continue. The logout process cannot continue. The logout process cannot continue. The logout process will continue. Logout successful. See you at your next login. Thank you. Eden is a human network connecting to the world of the future, run by the Kamashiro Enterprises. Okay, sure. That wasn't very nice. It slapped my heel. This is doubly weird. Oh no. My social anxiety is hitting me. Uh, excuse me. Isn't that dangerous? What's up with that kid? Yikes! You there! What's with the making of such a scene in broad daylight? You wait to arrest you, do you? Um, officer! Over here! Who are you calling a police officer? I'm a detective! Don't just put Vites cover! I'll arrest! <laughs> okay. In an alternate life, Bakugo decided to be a police person. And instead of saying, I'll kill you, says, I'll arrest you to everybody. Huh? What? What the? What is that? What's going on? I don't know. Go detect of something. Oh, that's gross. So gross. I'm gonna arrest you right here on the spot. Am I gonna be? I'm gonna be rescued by a supercar or run over. Oh no, it's rescued. Okay. You just live with your shirt unbuttoned 24-7? You have an interesting appearance. I'm very curious. Handle it before it gets worse? Stop that car! I'll arrest you! <laughs> you ever just be rescued by a quarter-naked woman who refuses to use buttons? I'm more used to strange phenomena than most, but I've never seen the likes of this before. Can you hear my voice? Are you able to speak? That's good. I wasn't sure what I was going to do if you weren't human. I see. So you have no idea what it is that happened to you. If you have questions, ask them now. I'll answer whatever I can. Where have my friends gone? No, there wasn't anyone else around you. Just you. You're wondering whether the same thing might have happened to your friends? No. I just wanted to make sure they got out. I can't tell you not to worry about them, but your first priority should be taking care of yourself. What happened to my body? It looks like your body is in an extreme digital state, as if it were cyberspace avatar, yet somehow here in the real world. If that's true, then this is very interesting phenomena. Hmm. And finally, where is this place? You're in Shinjuku. I was work out working, looking for something, when I came across you here. You might not believe that, but it's the truth. I'm headed to the agent. I'm headed to my agency's office in Nakano. Nakano? You can tell me the details when we get there. Who are you? Who am I? Ah, I haven't introduced myself yet. I should have done that earlier, but you were such a curiosity and completely slipped my mind. Sorry. 
I'm Kyoko Kurimi. I'm just a humble detective. So you just stole me away from your great, like, op opponent, the other detective lady out there who's threatening to arrest everyone. I do want to save. I'll save on the third one. Well, prologue done. Nakano Broadway. Welcome to the Kirimi Detective Agency. No, this is a supermarket. Reach Chapter 1 achievement. Is nobody going to question that there is a walking digital avatar walking about? Out of context, this looks hilarious. I see. You've got a good grasp on the situation. The, that place in Shinjuku, the one where you appeared when you logged out from cyberspace, it's the same or very similar to the place you logged in to Eden at, isn't it? So this is like chaotic. You just get eaten by the digital world. Hmm. Well, you're here talking to me now, but it seems there's another body out there for you as well. My body! It's wasted away! Maybe your mental data was separated from your physical body and manifested in the real world independently. Or maybe your body was somehow moved to Shinjuku where it was corrupted into the form you have now. That would be the worst. The whole situation is entirely too peculiar. Yet here you are, standing before me as much as that shouldn't make sense. At present, I can only form a simple hypothesis. We need to gather more information and quickly. So this is why they're called cases. I'm going to be working for your detective agency. <laughs> going by the book, you should check out where you logged into Eden. Which was where? This isn't some part of some... <laughs> why are you helping me? <laughs> where are you now? You are at the Kirimi Detective Agency, which has solved a number of rather bizarre cases, including cybercrimes. I can think of nobody better suited to solving the mystery of what happened to you than right here. And you're even sitting on the sofa for clients. I didn't know that. No need to worry about compensation. Your very existence is all the payment I need. You are very, very strange, brawless woman. You are very strange. Let's pretend you've boarded a luxury liner. Say the Mary Celeste. Alright. Anyway, let's get back on track. Where did you log in? But first, before we do anything, we must do, uh, do something about your appearance. You can't even walk around outside like that. And it looks pretty unstable as well. I've had a good look, and you're truly a mass of data. A true digital body. Yet you hear my voice, sit on my sofa, talk to me. Proof that you obey physical laws. A digital body with real-world characteristics. Let's call it a half-cyber body. You are not creative. Call it a psi body. If your body is comprised of data, then it should be easy to do something about your appearance, incorporate compatible data, and make repairs. You should have the same basic structure as an avatar used within Eden. It would be excellent if there were avatar parts in the data found lying around Kowloon. The only issue is whether or not you can log in in your current state. Is this where avatar customization comes in? I'm gonna leap through your TV. This really is Persona. What is it? Did something happen with the television? <laughs> this is Persona! Over here. Jump. Do a backflip. Jump! And she's just like, my clients got eaten by my TV! My ratings will go down terribly. Urged on by the voice, I took a leap of faith. But what the heck happened? It looks like I can go forward after all. Digital network. This is a digital space where the information flow becomes visual due to the protagonist's cyber body. Choose your direction with the directional buttons or the L stick. Battle may be initiated, so always be on guard when moving. Alright, I don't see anything interesting on the different ways to go. 
Aha, battle! Hey, I've seen these cuties before. Annihilate the red one for daring to attack first! You dare hit my plant? Kill it! By murdering children, we have leveled up. Hmm, I wonder, can I go back? I can! I'm going to explore everywhere. Because I am a completionist. And plus, this just gets more... Uh-oh. Crescent Leaf! Kill the big one! I'll take a headbutt, because <laughs> these ones are baby. I forget their, like, official designation, but they're basically just hatched out of the Digi-Egg Digimon. The other one was a, a rookie in training form. Hmm. So it doesn't seem that there was anything there. But it, I'm so interested. More combat. Same as before. Crescent Leaf! Destroy the entraining! Mainly because it's on our level, and that's scary. Well, not on our level, because it has less health than us, but still. But we probably should be managing our SP better. But we did level up, so... <laughs> So we got more health and one up on everything else, it seems. So basically, the digital network is eh, screw it, go forward. Well, we. Botamon! You are no longer needed. Oh, we got everything back because we leveled up! Hell yeah! And what's your name, small one? Poonimon. Die. Botamon Poonimon. Oh, we got a Poonimon medal and a health capsule. Scan complete. Thank you for letting me know. I'll go here just for the giggles. It's kind of funny that Palmon just runs behind me. Through the digital highway I go. Sure. I don't... I, there was nothing else. I am glitched. The exit. It's gone. Guess I can't go back the way I came. Is this Eden? Is Mr. Hackett gonna call me? This is Kyoko Kurami. Can you hear me? I nearly lost you, but I managed to get a trace. What the heck happened? It looked like you were sucked into the terminal and just disappeared. It was a TV. You see, I'm guessing you passed through the actual network lines themselves. The office terminal is connected to Eden's network. You rode the flow within the wires as data and appeared in Eden. So then for you, the network appears as an actual series of roads. Still, it's shocking to see you make such a direct transition from the real world to the digital one. To submerge in the digital world just by touching the terminal, a dive, no, a jump. From now on, I'm going to call the ability of yours a connection jump. I, 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 I would prefer a connection dive, personally. And we were flying, so it's kind of like a dive. With a happy little ex unexpected accident. Now you can go look around for the avatar da port data. Head to Kowloon. There's plenty of junk data lying around in Kowloon. It should be easy to find what you need. But I can be the ultimate criminal. Any hacker worth his salt doesn't take abnormal statuses slightly. They might wear off the t with time, but you'll be at a disadvantage if you leave them. Ah, what, what's wrong with you? You only just noticed? No, no, you don't have to see it. You got your avatar in an ab abnormal status, eh? An experienced hacker like me knows all about it. So let me give you this nugget of advice. Go to the admins and get that fixed. <laughs> Anxious man, you never want to run low on items for escaping dungeons. Your export, your home gate. Whoa, what's wrong with your avatar? You should tell the admins to do something. How in the world did you end up looking like that? Is that some sort of error? A hack? 
There's no such thing as having too many recovery items. That's just hacker common knowledge. I always have an extra or three. Uh, what am I doing talking with a noob like you? I hope nobody saw me. Go on, get lost. So, wh what are you doing? This is space supposed to be for members only. How did you get here without a pass? And your avatar is really weird. Are you some kind of rookie hacker? How did you get in here? I know I locked the room. Is this a bug? Yeah, you could you could say that. W -w -w who are you, you supposed to be? Are you a member of this chat room? I've never seen that avatar before. Hilarious. This way. Come on. Guess I should go in the direction of that voice. To Kowloon, I suppose. Oh, it's you. Is this an admin office? Digibank. Ooh, this is, is that a Digimon over there? No, it's just a cat. It's not an. It's not even a Gatomon. Ah, so you can hear my voice. Welcome to the Digilab. This place has a faint connection with the digital world, a paradise for Digimon. Mikagura Mire. I open this paradise unto you. I'm very confused. Digital world. It's okay if you don't know about it, for now at least. When the time comes, I expect you to. Uh, you will know what you need to know. Digi Lab. The Digital Monster Laboratory. You could call it the DML for short, I suppose. I recommend calling it the Digi Lab, though. I called you. No, that's not quite it. It was you who called to me. You are beginning to develop a deep connection with Digimon. Our strings of fate intertwined and drew me in, and so I found you. In other words, it was you who called out to me. But that's enough of that for now. First off, what kind of place is this? Go and check it out with your own eyes. Digilab! In the Digilab, you can use a variety of facilities that will help you on your adventure. Digibank, organize your party, Digivolve, D-Digivolve, and more. Digifarm, raise your Digimon by training or feeding. Mirror Dungeon, take on dungeons you've already cleared. Shop, purchase items for the Digimon. Digifarm, Coliseum, network battle. Medical Machine, recover Digimon HP and SP. Oh, that's cost money, oh no. Digifarm. Digimon kept in your Digivarm will gain experience of time. Giving instructions will result in various effects. Hmm. Memory use 5. Digi Convert. Digimon with a 100% scan rate or higher can be materialized and made into allies. Scan rates max out at 200% and the higher the scan rate, the higher the abilities Digimon receive when created. Alright. So you want to wait for, like, Super Duper. Or you can return your Digimon to scan data. That's disturbing. Digivolution and D-Digivolution. Digivolving makes Poke Digimon even into even stronger versions of themselves. Digivolving returns a Digimon to level 1, but raises their max level and abilities. There is more than one Digivolution route, and Digimon can Digivolve into various forms written in Digivolution guides, depending on the conditions met. There are also Digimon you can get by fusing two Digimon together through DNA Digivolution. Digimon can also undergo D-Digivolution. D-Digivolution will make them weaker, but will increase their max level and abilities. Abilities affect not only the conditions for Digivolving, but the maximum values of parameters you can enhance in Digifarms. Alright, so it's a bunch of confusing shenanigans. Got it. Oh wait, I forgot. Well, we haven't really, like, raised your max level- got you to max level yet, so we should probably wait and do that, I guess. Terminal. Welcome. Exciting meat. Feed that dramatically increases cam on rare occasions. Usable on the Digifarm. Flame symbol. Farm goods. Farm goods. Okay. <laughs> Developer know-how. Increases the quality of items made in development. <laughs> Sleuth secret. Increases the precision of searches. All right. Mm. 
Mira Dungeon by using the shortcut gates prepared by Mira Mc... Uh, Mirai Mikag... Mikarga. Yeah. I said it the first time, but now I can't. Mikagura, you can revisit dungeons you have explored in the past. You can accumulate experience, and there are various methods of use, such as collecting dropped items and Digimon scan data. And then what's this? Ah, network battle. Can I... Can I just fight again? Do battle over the internet. I don't think I'll do that much. I am not good against other people. Have you understood the Digilab? Everything here is meant to assist you, so please use them well. Farm goods. You can place different types of farm goods on in special locations on a farm island. These will have different effects for Digimon on that island. Interesting. Uh -huh. What, do you want me to do the mirror dungeon? Or <laughs> It was just a... D that, was, that counted as a... D <laughs> uh. Screw it, let's go through and do it again! For the giggles! Why not? <laughs> Why not do this? Run into Digimon at random. Get more scan data. Let's see if we can just normal attack you to death. We can, because of special diddly da. I keep forgetting to read his name. Alright, but yeah, Poonimon, you shall die. I, I I laugh that this is considered a dungeon. I thought the dungeon would be the one that, you know, we're walking around, but then I guess it's like, it's too story relevant, I suppose. Destroy Bukamon. 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 Botamon, how dare you? We'll get you to 100% in no time. Well, 200%. And then we'll make you real. Any new moves? No new moves. Or equipment. Pokemon has hit 100%. Before Poonimon? That's a bit odd. Yes. Get to a uh, 200% for me, so we can make you real. Annihilate them. I won't go auto, because I just know that if I go auto attack, then the worst thing will happen, and we'll get into a boss battle. And I'll forget to turn off auto, and I'll die horribly. 200% precisely. A critical. Poor boy. I still find it hilarious that this counts as a dungeon. It's tubes. We're just going down tubes at random. There's not even really a reason to go one way or another. They're just tubes. We'll get into one more fight. Because why not? The actual dungeon that was in the prologue. No, no. Can't do that. Oh, perfect. Man, now I kind of want to keep going back and forth to get those guys to 200% as well to add to the team. But that will also overlevel my dear Palmon. And what we could do. Hmm, that's an idea. We'll actually leave and we'll do the mirror dungeon again, maybe.
very interesting that that is a dungeon. Digibank. I would like to digi-convert. Bootamon! <laughs> that is literally a digi-egg right there. Bootamon. 200 HP. 19. Personality Builder. Attribute neutral. Training 1. Type free. Bubble Blow. Magic attack. 30 water damage to one foe. Hmm. Move Digimon. Each Digimon can be managed. Party Digimon, the Digimon that move with you. You can take along up to 11 Digimon. Digibank, a place to store Digimon. Digimon, come here right after a Digiconversion. Farm Islands, Digifarms used to raise Digimon. One island can hold up to 10 Digimon. A Digivice needed to take along Digimon has its own capacity. This is called the Party Memory, and you must keep your Party Digimon's memory use below this value. Use Memory Up items to increase your Party Memory. Alright. Votamon, come on in. We'll do it one more time to hopefully run into Punimon and Bukuma Bakamon again. Oh, they actually follow. Nice. Back attack? What? That's new. Destroy them! How dare you hit your brother? Kill him. Oh no. Finish the job. I... Okay, random back attack. Level up! Huzzah. Level up, anything new? Nope, but oh well. I like to look. Ah, this is exactly what we want. Annihilate Bukamon. <laughs> Another critical hit, that poor boy. You're not very smart, are you? I'm interested. Bubba Blow! What? Oh, it's a combo. Okay. I... I don't understand that concept, but alrighty. Good on you, Botamon. Now we just need to run into another Punimon, and we'll have an two more Digimon at 200% to add to the team. Precisely this! Annihilate Bukamon. Silly Punimon. Kill. Done. Finish the job. I have a feeling that going through, like, various digivolution, like, getting, uh, like, getting as many Digimon to, like, actually digivolve will actually be a bit difficult in this game. Keep hitting Palmon. Bubble Blow! No idea why that combo happened. Alright. Maybe if you pass on doing... Ah, max level for Botamon. So we should look into Digivolving you. Well, that was very good. And I only did that because you wouldn't let me leave. Well, may well, no, you would let me leave, but it was more that... Hmm. Level three or higher. But this one looks interesting. Did you evolve into this unknown Digimon? B 
Botamon Digivolve to... Wanyaman! Very nice. Did you convert? Pokemon! Very good. And Poonimon! Huzzah! Pokemon and Poonimon come into the party. Well, if that's that, I'm going to save and I guess leave this place. Now that we have a full party, it seems. Wanyaman and Bokamon. Hmm. I want to have Poonamon in there. I guess let's leave, because you're not helping me. Do you understand the Digilab? Use it carefully to further your interactions with Digimon. Let me see if you're the person I thought you might be. Finally, one last thing, a small token for you. My body? You got a hacking skill. Hacking skill shining combination of Digimon use, but are dangerous if used for unscrupulous hacking purposes. Now, you, how you use your skills is up to you. Never forget that. You can deepen your special ties with the Digimon. Live with them, share their joys and sadness, and grow together. By deepening your bond with the Digimon, they'll surely offer you their aid. It is a very important ability. It will even change your life. I mean, I things have been changing my life quite rapidly, I'd say. Connection jump. That's what you call your curious skill. I know nothing of this power. It's like a hacking skill, but, well, different but I'm certain if it's a skill that will serve you in unique ways. I'll see you later. Take care. Hacking skill. When on the field, press the square button to open the hacking skill menu. Here you could use the various abilities of your Digimon. To use a skill, the Digimon in the party must meet the necessary conditions. You can check the conditions of a skill from the player menu of your Digimice. You are heading to Kowloon, I suspect. Just this once, I'll let you use the special exit. Next time, go to the access point, if you please. Access points! Communication devices that use the flow of the digital wave to connect to locations everywhere. They are reference points for digital network. Additionally, they allow the protagonist to use Connect Jump to move to Eden or to the Digilab. Release level one firewall. Code scan. Analyze. Hmm. And it's under the player. Hacking skill. There are four more Digimon which are ultimate or better. Alright, so... There is at least one Digimon. There are four Digimon who which are rookie or better. Uh, I think I only have two rookie. Or no, three rookie. Code scan. Analyzes unlocks. There is a Digimon, which is a data type. Hey, but there is a vaccine Digimon. High security. Reduces encounters. But let's see. Copies and pastes characteristics of a data plate. Analyzes and unlocks encrypted data. So we need a vaccine Pokemon. There is a free type Digimon. Increases encounters. Hmm. Forces encounters of foes in areas of encounters. There is a free type Digimon, which is rookie or better. I think I have that. So. <laughs> if you want to get the best cracking possible... You need four ultimate Digimon. I am going to have to upgrade my party greatly. We also need data type and vaccine type for code and scan. What types? Hmm. Let's see. What's your typing? Doesn't even have a description. I guess we should actually go to... Oh, no, that was the Digimon. Uh, I'm done.
Oh, so I guess we can code scan, but we can't high security. But we can function and wall crack. All right, then. Very well. So we have at least one data type Digimon with us. But we're missing a vaccine type. You can eliminate secure firewalls that block your way and continue your progress. This skill has different levels depending on the resilience of the firewall, and you won't be able to take down a firewall if your wall crack skill isn't high enough. Huzzah! Fools. I am the Great Leon! It's me. Ooh, I finally got through to you. I lost your trace info and had to search again. Where did you wander off to this time? I got Digimons. I see. So you ran into Mirei Mikakuga. Uh, yeah, you could say we're acquainted. Regardless, for there to have been a natural progression where you would meet her. You seem to have the craziest luck. Let's assume you've carried your, out your original objective. We'll start by... What? You've already broken through a firewall? Well done. You saved me some time. <laughs> All right. On to our next move. I scanned the area around the entrance to Kowloon and marked a key junk data sites. Junk data will serve as your body parts. You need to go find and retrieve some. It's not—it's something of a stopgap measure, and it may not be a perfect solution, but I'm sure your skills are up to the task. This is key to set up the returning to your body to normal, so buck up and get to work. It's okay. Searching for body parts isn't as hard as defeating 48 demons now, is it? Is that a reference to something? I think that's a reference to something. I think of it as an emergency measure. I look forward to meeting you. Oh, yeah. Th that's, uh, Dororo? The story of a guy who had his body, like, his entire body parts, like, removed and given to demons. And he then, like, uh, when he got older, replaced his body parts with, like, not robotic parts, but these, like, combat prosthetics and went on to become a demon killer. There's a video game based on that, uh, that... I forget exactly the story. If it's like a legend, a manga. I know it's got an anime in a video game, at least. A recent anime. And I think there might have been an older adaptation as well. It's just one of those things. Yeah, but think of it as an emergency measure. I look forward to meeting you in your normal body. Digiline. This is a tool for communicating with people who aren't in the same place. You'll receive messages from your friends and Digimon in your Digifarms. If a notification appears in the bottom right of your screen, hit the touchpad button or check your received messages from the Digiline menu of your Digivice. Reply to messages as necessary. All right. And please select su reply. Got it. Interesting. That I, like, reply to that one. Digimon on farms will be ecstatic if you respond to their Digiline messages. Very interesting. Well, on we go, looking for junk. Wonder if we're gonna run into the various things. Oh. Register to field guide. Scan data of new Digimon will be collected and di the Digimon will be registered in the field guide of your Digivice. At the Digilab, you can digiconvert and browse detailed data by making friends with Digimon through Digivolution and Digivolution. Only registered detailed data browsing available. Hmm. All right, then. I don't... <laughs> Koromon A and Koromon B. Get out of here. My dear Wanyamon. Destroy. Damn, he lived. Walken. It fucking nuked my pole with my Digimon. With Napalm. Avatar Pot. But now I want to look at the... What was it? The... Field Guide. This is a database of Digimon. You can check lots of details on friendly Digimon, such as stats, available skills, Digivolve, and D-Digivolve information. Poonamon. Bubble Blow. 
cannot de-digivolve further. We do not know how it will digivolve. A brand new type of Digimon. Three tentacles protrude from the top of its gelatinous red body. It can't fight, but threaten enemies with acidic bubbles. Botamon, a newborn digital monster. Dark peach fuzz bristles across the surface of its slimy body. This new addition to the digital world can't fight, but it can shoot bubbles from its mouth to intimidate foes. This zany Digimon looks like a baby aquatic dinosaur and moves like a sprightly seahorse. It teens to run away when others get close. Its exodermis can't withstand deep sea water pressure or low temperatures, so it can't dive in the ocean depths for long. Wanyamon, a Digimon combining the data of small pets like dogs and cats. Its exceptional speed means you need to be aware of it fleeing, but offering it an owner's affection makes it quite attached to you. Palmon, a vegetation Digimon with a tropical flower on its head. It digivolved like a reptile from Tanyamon, Tanimon, but its appearance and traits classify it as a vegetation type. During the day, it spreads its flowers and leaf arms like its photosynthesis. It buries its roots like feet in the ground to absorb nutrients, but can also walk. Its flower emits a sweet smell when happy and a stench powerful enough to repel large Digimon when angry or in danger. Well, that didn't really help it when it was being attacked by that angry Digimon before. Its special move, Poison Ivy, entangles the enemy in its Poison Ivy and causes paralysis. Kuri Saram... Kyu... Kuri Sariman. Kuri Sariman. There's a lot of Digimon in this here game. Machine Dramon. 341, eh? Neat. Wonder if we'll run into Agumon and Gabumon in here. Give me that junk data. Ah. Types and attributes. Digimon all have types and attributes, each with their own affinity. A Digimon type is shown in a mark in the upper left part of the stats, and its attributes is displayed by color. During target selection, good affinity is shown with a red target ring, and bad affinity with a blue target ring. You'd think it would be reversed, but we don't make the rules. Consider affinities when choosing who to attack. There are four types, virus, vaccine, data, and free. Attacks from a type with good affinity inflict double damage while attacks from a type of bad affinity only inflict half. Attacks with good attributes inflict 1.5 normal damage. Attacks using skills reflect the attribute of said skill. So light and dark damage each other equally, so they kind of cancel out to being neutral. No? But, well, they say they're both good and bad. I don't get it. Crescent Leaf. Destroy Biomob. Wanyamob. Smile Fang. Lysiakomob. Damn it. Bubble Blow. Continue it. Nah, damage that one. Well, that's not good at all. Don't kill the baby! Okay, good, they didn't attack the baby. Crescent Leaf. Smile Fang. And then you can finish him off. Good job there, Puni Mom. You saved the day. Ooh, get skill. What skill have you gotten? It said it got a skill, but it lied to me. I uh, I guess they would say get skill is there perpetually, but when it actually gets a skill, it'll show up underneath. 
I think I get it now. Someone's messaging me. Such a quick reply, I'm impressed. Guess you get a reply to reply sometimes. <laughs> Onwards we go, combat time! Hmm, Gabamon's pre-digivolved form. I don't think we have much to worry about. Annihilate it! Well, talk about annihilation. We got an attack boost! I also like that since it's like so little amount of like buttons needed, like you can just use the D-pad for that. Huh, there's somebody up there. They're maybe dead. Just a single Digimon. But it's going first! It's poisoned my Digimon. Abnormal statuses. Allies and enemies can suffer from abnormal statuses in battle. Abnormal statuses have unique effects, such as draining HP every turn or altering stats. All abnormal statuses are undone at the end of battle. Thank you. Abnormal statuses include Confused, cannot be controlled, attacks enemies and allies at random, paralyzed, sleep, stun, poisoned, dot, changes into sprite, becomes unable to use skills, doesn't heal naturally, bug, reverses type affinity. Stat changes, such as increased attack or lowered defense, continue for five turns after, after activation. Activating the same stat change during this period will reset the turn count to five and stack the effect. How dare you hurt my friends! Die! Still don't know what the combo is about. We'll probably learn about it sometime soon. Hmm, but I guess we should go up there because it should, like, just lead to a new section of the same place. I'm gonna save before I get to him because they might be like, eh, I wanna fight you. You never know. Zaxxon Bouncer, you aren't worthy of going any further. Once you've proven your strength and pride as a hacker, the path will open on its own. But I have the hacker power. I have the ability. It's not what I wanted. I wanted to... I wanted to wall hack it. But oh well, we getting more attacks doesn't really bother me that much. Ah, more of that one, eh? Let's see. Destroy that fool. Damage the Koromon. Quit napalming my Digimon. Level up and no skill, level up and no skill, level up and no skill. I wonder why the inn is highlighted in Kowloon. Hmm, another new one. Poyomon. Kill the Kirby! Smile Fang, deal damage. It almost killed. Oh. I should have looked at the player turn order a bit more closely. You're just getting all the kill steals, aren't you, little boy? More level up, more level up, more level up for everyone. Hmm. Really, what I should do, maybe, <laughs> for the giggles. I want to do this. For the giggles, I will save just to be safe. But at the same time, blah blah. Bliggity blue. Also, I find it funny that the bouncer is just like, you can't come any further. I don't care if you're just a mass of pixels. Attack normally. Oh. Bubble blow.
Come along, my Digimon friends. Disappointing that you don't talk to me like Agumon and Gabumon did. Smile Fang the Poyomon! Bubble Blow the Fiend! Let's see. Air Bubbles. Go for it. You did it. You murdered him. And we got an HP capsule for that. And we're not going to be making it until we get 200%. It's just the way things go in the world. Got an SP capsule C. Export? What's an export? Instantly returns party to the dungeon entrance. Interesting. I feel like we should bring my heavy hitter main Digimon in. To at least try and make sense of it. Wow, Ponymon, you're going up in the world of murder. Hydro water! Very nice. Magic attack, 95. Ah, so it's basically the uh, same thing. Wind claw. So yeah, the, it seems like a lot of them have a basic 95% accuracy move that they can use. Alright, but... Digimon. We're gonna put Palmon in. Just in case. Cross combos and can. A cross combo can occur when two or more allies are lined up on the timeline. Cross combos power up attacks and skills effects with the help of allied Digimon. Cross combo effects are split into the following four types. Chain attack increases the number of hits. Damage up increases damage. Heal up increases the amount recovered. And skill up stat changing skill increases the amount of change. Cross combo occurrence rates are displayed on the timeline. The bigger the gauge number, the higher the uh yeah, the higher the rate. Occurrence low, occurrence high. The gauge fills as you attack, and Digimon with higher camaraderie will have a higher occurrence rate. Neat. Hmm. Destroy the Poyomon. Let's see. Oh wait, that's a good one. Kill! And now I know how combos work. Huzzah! And Poonimon has maxed out its level. And now, with junk data, I am human once more. Hmm, you at least look normal again. It's not a perfect solution, but it's a big step. The objective has been met. Come back to the agency. What's that? You don't know how to get back? Hmm, try locking out like you always do. Since you went in through an agency terminal, my guess is you should come out through one. But to be honest, in your case, I don't know what'll happen until we try. In the worst case, if your data gets scattered throughout the network, I'll salvage as much as I can. <laughs> I'm joking, sort of. But I want to head back to the, uh... Guess whatever I ought to did was temporary. Wrong button. Alright, I want to take that off. But I'll first go to the Digilab so that we can Digivolve Poonimon. As well as see if anybody else is max level. The background music is kind of funky. I enjoy it. What? Who said? Oh, did I say something because I have my voice back? Koromon must die. Pabumon must die. Tremble in my power. So yeah, nobody else is at max level just yet, just Punimon. Makes sense. Punimon is the only one who is still in training one. While these are rookies. 
so their power is grander. Still, why would a hacker hang out around here? We're the cool kids. We hang out with the creepy, abandoned, digital, freaking, what's it called? Uh, playground. Go to the Digilab. Digi convert. Oh, there's no digi convert to do. But there is uh Ponymon, for you are level maxed out. And ten hmm. Digivolve into the unknown Digimon! Hell yeah, Niaroman! Attribute light. Training two. Very nice. And I shall organize a Nyaroman. Hmm. Let's see. Any other dungeons? Nope. I guess because I technically haven't completed the dungeon yet. Hmm. But since we're still technically in the dungeon... because uh, we're out here. Or, well. I'm going to go in there and I'm going to increase encounters and we're going to just fight more Digimon until they're all at 200%. Because I'm a completionist. Can I activate it? Yep. It just mini 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 just no you can't do it here no you can't do it here come fight me digimon i'm not scared of you and neither are my digimon one is at 200 percent and shall be annihilated oh that's not good at all Kill that one! Destroy Pabumon! Oh dear, it's alive! And it punched Bokumon in his face. Nyaroman needs to level up. Huzzah! Level up for the Nyaroman. I mostly just want to run around, get into fights, so that we have more Digimon to Digivolve. Destroy that one. Wait, that one's blue. No? What? It still died. The lighting ring thing is d does not help the brain for some reason. And plus, it allows us to also level up our Digimon even more. Which is probably not a grand thing. Because then we might run out of... Well, we could always, like, de-Digivolve them if it... A back attack? Why? And Nyaroman is dead. That was very rude. Let's see. Kill that one, because it killed the friend. I say kill that one, because it killed a friend. What even dictates a back attack? Kill! Well, let me guess. Yep, Nyaraman does not get anything. Oh, so you can bounce around out here, but no, you're still dead. Of course you do. Oh, and your Armand gets to jump back into battle. Kill. Kill.
Well, in that case, since we can just, like, bounce around a bit. And we have lots of HP capsules. We shall function call again. And pray to God that we don't get back attacked like that again. We're just trying to level up the poor Nyaromon. And get the percentage of encounter scans. 200% for you. Oh yeah, are you already up 200% and that's why we're not scanning you anymore? I think that is. Ah, yeah, just smack it, you can't do much. Kill him! Kill him very badly! How dare you not die? And if I handle that better, he'd probably be- they'd both be dead. Kill the last one alive. Good for you, Niaroman. You are a murderer. Hmm. I wish there was, like, a way to check- You can see, like, the... Scan level of Digimon. I already s oh no, I thought we scanned you to beyond that, but oh well, kill. Kill hmm. I suppose enough of that. We shall Well, never mind, the game said screw you. Here are two Digimon that you have everything about already. Smack that one. We shall smack that same one again. And then annihilate the fool. Now that's overkill. But yes, we'll go ahead and get a move on. We can all... Uh, that's also another thing. I can always do grinding on my own time if I really wanted to. Or just have dedicated grinding streams where we, like, level up and do diddly D Digimon stuff. Let's go scan Digimon. Ah, Eden open space. Let's go to the Eden entrance. Look around. No, it doesn't seem like there's any difference. Except that one student guy is missing. Man, it doesn't seem like anybody... How about you, dude? Nope. Nothing different. I haven't even gotten a new code... Like, uh... What's it called? Keyword, not code word. Both are technically right, but both are technically wrong. Weird vocalization song. I'm just traversing and then open space. <laughs> the place that I just accidentally went into. All right, well, I guess log out. I'm now a digital person. <laughs> you made it back in one piece, didn't you? I wouldn't have expected anything different from this person that I only met like five minutes ago and who then jumped through my TV. Still, those abilities border on the unreal. Maybe the reason you still adhere to physical laws has to do with an instinctual fear present in all physical organisms. <laughs> this is all truly fascinating. Pardon me, Kyo-chan. He's, he's an old man. There you go again, sneaking up on me, old man. Oh, I'm sorry. I did it again. And could you stop calling me Kyo-chan? It's embarrassing. That was a childhood nickname. Not going to happen, my dear. You'll always be Kyo-chan to me. No matter how old you get or how brilliant of a detective you become. 
How long have you been there? What have you heard? I just got here. Something wrong? Oh, you have a client. Sorry, sorry. Were you going over a case? No, this is, well, a client of sorts, though a somewhat unconventional nature. Oh, just who are you then? I'm an assistant detective. Let me introduce you. This is Detective Matayoshi. He's an old friend from when my father ran the agency, and I trust him completely. He's the most elite detective the force has on cybercrime. Looks so deceiving, you were thinking. Well, I suppose I don't exactly fit the mold. But if I did, I'd never be able to tag along with the shadier element. Oh, <laughs> the slip of the tongue! <laughs> So, is there anything afoot? If it's a case, sit on the sofa and wait a bit. I'll just whip up some tasty coffee. No, thank you. There's no case today. No need for coffee. He hates coffee, I guess. I heard a rumor about Eden syndrome. I thought you might be in Tridkyocha. Let's hear it, then. It's relevant to this case, anyway. Um, um, hmm. <laughs> You're supposed to sit on the couch. No need to worry about my assistant, old man. This is someone with a rather special connection with Eden. My assistant has the potential to become something of a specialist in the field. Let's hear what you have to say. I see. If you can vouch for your assistant, that's fine. The rumor concerns the special ward in the hospital where they're isolating the Eden Syndrome patients. Oh, do I need to explain what Eden Syndrome is to your future specialist? Please do. It's a rare condition where Eden users suddenly lose consciousness and are unable to wake up. So the people eaten by the monster in the Kowloon, I guess. We see more and more patients with each year, but the cause, symptoms, and treatment remain a mystery. There's a special ward at Central Hospital for Eden patients. Treatment and a search for the cure are underway. But information. Excuse me? But information there is kept heavily restricted. There are facilities even relatives can't enter. The rumor is that they're concealing facts to help protect Kamishiro's image. This remains firmly in rumor territory for now. Yeah. But lately there have been happenings behind the scenes at Central Hospital. Behind the scenes? Meaning Kamishiro Enterprises, right? Yes. The hospital is under Kamishiro's control. The same Kamishiro who runs the Eden Network. The number of patients is increasing and symptoms are getting worse. Now of all times is when Kamishiro needs to come clean that remains silent. An alarming number of people are being admitted to the hospital in question and security in the special ward has allegedly been beefed up. It was going to happen eventually. Yes, indeed. <laughs> I think I'll put some coffee on after all. We can toast the agency's success. Oh, look at the time. I'd better get back to the station. Sorry, but let's save the toast for another time. See you later. Just really hates coffee, doesn't he? But he's still there. I'd watch out for a coffee. Especially the color and the solid chunks floating in it. I fear the day is coming when I'll be forced to actually taste her coffee. That day won't be pretty. Lol. It was as he said. Fresh info on Eden Syndrome is hard to come by. Kamishiro's behind the scenes, restrictions are doing their job. And security will only get ramped up all the more from here on out. There's something very strange happening in Eden. Then you show up in your weird body, and at the same time, Kamishiro is apparently on the move. Is that all merely a coincidence? No, it has to be connected. The rationale is plain as day, no leaps in logic necessary. I'm heading to Central Hospital. I need to get as much info as I can before security is stepped up. I'd be thrilled if you came with me. You might be able to get some info on your current state. Seek and ye shall find! Knock and it shall be... No, in your case, let's go with open sesame. <laughs> Say, speak friend and enter. That child is running in the hospital! Kill him! Well, what to do? At times like these, I tend to start off with a frontal attack. Let's try direct negotiations to get us into the hospital's special ward. Hmm, what else can I do? I'll give you instructions later. Until then, go and uh, gather info inside the hospital. 
Asking questions is the most fundamental cornerstone in detective work. I wasn't joking when I said you could become a specialist in the field, my dearest prospective assistant. Become a GP and record my activities in a chart, or become a boy with a shiny red cheeks. It's really a lot of fun. What? Well, time to ask questions, I suppose. Oh, animation. Quote unquote, it's a still image. And now the images are moving. Huh. You remind me of Yuga for some reason. Who are you? Who am I? Are we going to fight here in the hospital? Hey girl, have <laughs> Hey girl, have we met? <laughs> Is she just going to back up? Nah, it would have been hilarious if she just backed up into the elevator. Hello. Oh, we're here to visit someone. The general ward is on the 12th floor. Oh, map. Alright, so there's an elevator that I can... Stop running! Stop running! Running's bad for your health! So you want to know dirt on special ward? Well, I've got some. Apparently there's some isolation ward where not even family can visit. I already heard about that. One floor above general wards is a special ward. It's meant for patients with particularly difficult illnesses. Speak up, my ears are what they once were. Would be funny if I talked to him again, it happened. Nope. Come on, that would be a great puzzle. Crowded as ever today. You know, with the billion empty seats. How much longer am I gonna have to wait? Sometimes you see people going to the special ward on the elevator. I wonder if they're family. I feel bad for them. I can't I think I caught a cold. Got a fever of 100.4, so don't get close. I have my own personal physician. All the staff are kind. It's a great hospital. You want to know about the special ward? I'm sorry. We have a policy against revealing patients' per personal information. I'm sorry. It's just very busy right now. We're short-handed on both doctors and nurses. Seems like a bad hospital. Then. If you have an appointment, please sign in and wait for the reception desk. Or I could just go up a... Uh, hmm. I shall go to the Digilab. And nobody will question my disappearance. Alright, I just want to see. I have... Koromon and Pabumon are at... 200% scan. Go ahead and convert them. Maybe we'll bring them with. And Pabumon. Poyomon is almost at 200%. Let's see. Palmon, nobody's at max level just yet. Let's see, I have six more room. And I can bring them both. Barely. Let's see. Do I have much money? Hmm, not enough to buy anything, though. I'm going to quickly check and see. Anything? Nope, just the digital network. Well, I guess because that's not really a dungeon. Ah, that's what it is. Areas that are actually a part of Eden aren't dungeons. Interesting. Let's go to the general ward first. Ask around. Hello. This is 12th floor, the general ward. Alright, so there's a few rooms and a nurse's station. Can't go in, can't go in. 
It's about time for Mrs. Sasuke's IV, and then after that. So, these rooms apparently, like, exist, but can't go in because it's just, like, it's bad. Grandpa looks like he's sleeping pretty hard. I wonder if he'll wake up tomorrow. Papa, I heard if you come to this clinic, you can never leave. Is that true? I want to get better and go back to school. Well, that's disturbing. Honey, that's just a rumor about the special ward. Don't worry. You're going to be healthy and back at school in no time. People only disappear in the special ward. Nothing to worry about. Are you here to visit someone? I'm here to see my daddy. Kunemon medal. And what could very well be a dead body. Don't mind me. I'm just invading. Just... Oh, yeah, that one room that can be entered. All others? No, that one shore. Okay. And all I got was a Kunemon medal. Sure. All right. To the special ward. See if I can suck on in. This is a special ward, unless your family or hospital staff entry is strictly prohibited. It's me. We can ride the elevator to the special ward floor, but can't enter the rooms without permission. It goes without saying that we have no such permission. What do we do now? We take out the two guards and have... <laughs> We're gonna beat up the guards! Which is likely locked to get us... Okay. Uh, okay. We're just gonna beat up some guards. Sure. This is what I call a full frontal attack, but it takes time to prepare and the risks are high. Let's not rely on a frontal attack now. We'll trust your capabilities, our trump card. The terminal in the nurse's station should be connected to the hospital network. I don't have a spell it all out for you, do I? Okay, so we're not going to assault the officers. I'm going to assume that we're going to head to the nurse's station in general then. Connect Jump. Connect Jump is a special ability of the main character. You can use this ability on connectors that appear on the map. Approach a connector and press the X button to jump to the digital space or digital network. And these people are just going to not notice me jumping into the digital world and disappearing. And then I should probably manage my Digimon. I'll... Yeah, I'll put Nyaromon back until she's a bit higher level. Same thing with Pabumon and Koromon. You don't see anything. And nobody comments on anything. Nobody says anything. I'm going to take a drink of water. Still don't know why other ones had actual... Oh, hey! Yeah, these guys. Tanamon must be killed. You hear me? Tanamon must die. How'd you not die? Kill. And this is why we should have Palmon on with us, practically at all times. Saint Knuckle! Hmm. Hmm, but considering how little damage the boys did, we'll... Yeah, since these are double, I'm just gonna grind these guys out rather quickly. Yeah, I'll just grind these out. Oh, yay, critical hit! We'll just grind out the scan of the uh, Tanamon. Since there are two of them, they'll go really fast. 
that just means two more encounters and we'll have them at 200%. And sure, we already have a Palmon, but that's also, it's also possible that they might digivolve into other. Oh, a pleasant surprise, I suppose. Kill. Annihilate this fool. Good. At least it's not like Digi Tamers, where you need to literally devour your enemy's data to get stronger. We're just gonna go back and forth. Oh, hey! I just. Okay, there was more Digimon in this section than I expected. Kill the Tanamon. And what's your name? Motimon. How dare you not die? Uh, uh repeat. Why, how dare? Leave my Wanyaman alone. He's a good boy. Intelligence boost. Walken Palm, you've leveled up good, my boy. Well, let's see, what is that? Boost. Raises by 20% for five turns. Ah, so it's, yeah, just a usable temporary increase. I don't know why we ran into two sets of two Tanamon back to back, only for the game to go, lol, psych, here's more. More Digimon for you to just go over. Destroy this one. Now you can kill that one. <laughs> These poor Tanamon, they're getting crit left, right, and center. Ah, uh, we, we already got that. Let's try and escape. Because I don't think there's a negative to running away. Destroy Motimon. He is not needed here. Ah, you've escaped the crit this time, Tatamon. Good for you. Oh no. What, are you jealous of your future possible self? Why am I not Palmon right now? And another intelligence boost. I would think on selling it, but I don't think it actually sells for that much. These guys again. But I don't care. And we haven't even run into a double Tanamon. In a bit. Poyamon, get the message. I do not care about you. Yes, yes, Motimon's at 100%, but we don't take in until they're at 200%. Because bonuses. I have already forgotten exactly what kind of bonuses. Now you're just mocking me. How dare you live. Try and kill the other one. The world is cruel. Kill that one just to be safe. Let that one suffer on longer. Leave the bite alone. It'll be fast, I said. It's only two Tanamon at a time, I said. Oh, Pokemon maxes out at level nine. I didn't realize that. In that case, I guess technically it'd be a nice idea to keep you out. All things considered. 
You, Poyo man, I do not care about you. You are not raising my powers. Have I created a Poyomon yet? I don't think so. Alright, at this point, it's probably just a smart idea. Let's see. Saint Knuckle. Punch the Modimon. <laughs> a giant light fist comes from the sky and punches the Motimon. Freaking hilarious. That is hilarious to me. But yeah, I think... Well, we maxed out Tanamon at the very least, and, and on a de are on a decent way towards maxing out Motimon, so... Higgledy Piggledy, we can just dungeon that later. You managed to get there without incident, hee <laughs> hee, just as I expected it would. Okay, let's move into action. Get the data from the room in the back while keeping an eye on the patient. And leave it to me. <laughs> I leave it to you, my prospective assistant. An eye on the patient. Wait, is that my body? No way! Is this me? Is this my physical body? That was shocking, but I wasn't expecting to see that my own body was in such good shape. I should be happy, I suppose. But if being kept in an isolation ward, this really must have been Eden Syndrome. Like, I internalized that, but didn't say it. I <laughs> say it out loud. They have nobody in this section? Amateurs. File 001 Eden Syndrome. A mysterious illness whereby people suddenly fall into comas while connected to the Eden Network. You'd think, like, if one happened, there would be mass outbreak and chaos. And people would shut down Eden immediately, but I think by this point, technically, e but at the same, same, same time, it's like our character had never used Eden before. And presumably someone like Akino, uh, Nokia, also hadn't used it before, maybe. And, but it's still, like, a super big thing, apparently. So maybe because it's such a big thing, it can't fail, you know, like banks. Originally, the term was given to the incessant vomiting and other symptoms common to those unused to spending time in the digital world. But now Eden Syndrome is used to describe the more serious malady of inexplicable loss of consciousness while connected to the Eden Network. After extended time in a coma, the body weakens, becoming more susceptible to complications. In the worst cases, this has led to death. File 2. Treatments for Eden Syndrome. No effective treatment has been found for Eden Syndrome. Research continues into treatments and causes of this unexplainable illness. Association with the Kamishiro Enterprises. Eden is a large-scale digital space operated by Kamashiro Enterprises. Deeply affiliated with the governmental agencies, okay, that explains it, Eden's business areas are expanding quickly. Immediate improvements and user training must be provided to warn against users, uh, users against long login times. Furthermore, the Eden interface uses Kamashiro Enterprises' proprietary technology, making further research sharing problematic. How'd you get in here? Why are you here? My body is right over there. It makes sense. This area is supposed to be off limits with guards watching the only entrance. How did you get in here? Did you do something to the guards? Who even are you? Are you of Kamishiro? Don't answer a question from a question. Answer me! I'm just a plain old detective's assistant. Wait, is Kirimi? I see. Well, never mind then. You came to investigate Eden Syndrome, right? Was well, there something you wanted to ask? I'll answer your questions. Don't get me wrong, I'm just trying to come clean in order to clear my own name here. <laughs> really? I'm in debt to Kamishiro, so if you have a few questions, I can answer them, I think. What should I ask? Well, we already read it. If you contract Eden Syndrome, you fall into a coma and potentially die. Is there a cure? No. Who is that patient? This patient here? They were just brought in. They weren't here a few days ago. Are you worried about them? Oh, you two look exactly alike. Do you have a twin, perhaps? 
I see. That's quite the coincidental resemblance, then. What happens if we contract Eden Syndrome? What happens? Well, as you can see, patients of Eden Syndrome all fall in a coma. I've heard of no other symptoms. Do you know someone who's shown uh, others? Oh, do you, I, mean, I just mangled that. I've never heard of anyone recovering from it. Someone I know has been stuck in a deep sleep for a full eight years now. Eden Syndrome has been going on for at least eight years? Really? And nobody has raised any kind of concern. Eight years of cases increasing at least would have caused, like, super cry for concern. I'm sure he'll be fine. Someday he's sure to wake up. Yuga, you are tied to Yuga. Yuga is your brother. He's the Wraith of the Eden. For now, all I can do is wait. There are rumors Kamishu is involved in some kind of conspiracy. That's a misunderstanding, a mistake. Kamishiro wants to find a cure for Eden Syndrome, too. That is why they built a special ward and let people not see their families anymore. <laughs> it's ridiculous that anyone should suffer because of Eden. I've, I've got to do something. I apologize for interrupting such an important conversation, but you have an un uninvited guest. Who is it? Hello, guards. Thanks for working so hard. Ooh, another hottie? Miss Rai, we weren't expecting you today. Check out the bulging pecs on this guard. One look at my heart is all a flutter. Oh, Jesus Christ. Lady, this is sexual harassment. Miss Kishibe, I'm on duty. I know she's talking about his abs, but still. Ria Kishibe, making the rounds behind the scenes. I'm curious what Kamashiro Bigwig is doing here. We got the information we needed, now we get out of there. No need to overstay, you're welcome. Oops, I got a visitor as well. Let's meet in the lobby then. Don't rush and don't make a fuss. Hide, quickly. I need to get to the diddly dee. Oh dear Yuko, you're well I trust. Miss Ray, what happened today? I don't recall seeing your name on the approved visitors list. Oh no I'm not. Maybe I was just stuck with this under to see my dear darling Yuko. Are you worried about my me being all by my lonesome? No, my Ray sense was tingling and I had to come see if you were being a gloomy Gus again. I knew it. This is all so terrible, isn't it? Not particularly. Oh, look at you acting all strong. But I know, I know all about it. Probably not the best hiding place. By the way, what have you been doing here? Nothing, nothing special. A picnic of sorts. Yes, <laughs> why would you say yes to that, Yuko? Yes, dear Yuko, something the matter. No, is there perhaps someone else here? Perhaps a boyfriend? No, it's nothing like that. Or maybe it's a girlfriend. Oh, should I have a little look around? Doing something unscrupulous in that room? Or better yet, something scandalous? What is wrong with you, lady? Lady! Quick, Digivolve yourself into a computer. Now, now, I've got you all figured out. You can come out now. Yuko's new squeeze. My name is Ray, and I'm tasked with being Yuko's guardian here. Holding hands or locking lips, guiding each other step by step toward adulthood. The, the, the creepy music does not help. Surprise, bitch, I'm a ghost. Oh, drat, there's no one here. But dear Yuko, it doesn't matter. You can bring one or two boyfriends or even three dozen of them if you'd like. This lady is crazy. What was the original, like, is this a direct translation? <laughs> what the hell? Why then, when I was your age? Now then, let's check in and see how he's doing. Don't you think he'll be happy to see the two of us together? Where did they... I'm a superhero. I hid in the computer. Hey, kids. Get off the computer. Stop all the downloading.
I doubt it, but it would be kind of nice if we just uh, got Mitomon on the way out as well. Smack him up. Or bite. It's, it's a little weird system where you have to, like, hold the direction. I'm used to, like, normal menus. This is, like, motion menus. And we can just, like, dungeon dive that later. And nobody questions where we disappear to. Sayonara, bitches. I'm a cyber ghost. You escaped that predicament all on your own. <laughs> See, I knew you could do it. Now then, shall we head back? I can't imagine what the shock of seeing your own body from the outside is like. If we think of it like an out-of-body experience, maybe we can find a solution. You're the first Eden Central patient to exhibit these particular system, sy symptoms, not systems. The first irregular amongst them. Simply knowing that is a major step in getting to the bottom of this. We can't rush the investigation. Mustn't hurry things along. Stay cool, stay calm. Doggedly, and with all your might, exhibit endurance like hard black iron. Is that what that says up there? My father used to say that all the time. But back to the issue at hand. What are you planning on doing next? Don't you want to return to your original body? Don't you want to know the truth of what happened? I want to kill everyone. <laughs> then it's decided. You should work here as my assistant. Uh, will I be paid? I'm technically not alive. There'll be many cases dealing with Eden and cybercrime. The more work you do, the more clues we'll be able to find. Don't worry, I'm certain of your potential, and while you're at it, I'll cover your room and board. Do I even need room and board? I'm a digital individual. Besides, with your talents, who else is better suited for a cyber investigation? I'm expecting great things. I feel like I'm being enslaved, because I don't have much of a choice. Excellent, we have an agreement. From this point forward, you are my assistant cyber sleuth. Roll credits. Hmm, have a seat on the sofa and wait. I'll make some coffee, we'll drink to celebrate. Definitely interesting. Seaweed and red bean paste coffee. Okay, never mind, it is weird. <laughs> I know it looks all fancy, but wait until you get a load of the flavor and aroma. Here's to you, Cyber Sleuth. Gulp, gulp, gulp! I got a thousand! I wonder if that was actually tied to my choice. If you just gulp down the entire thing, you get more points or something. That would be hilarious. Let's get down to it. I have something for you. Your first duty to kick off your new career is a cyber sleuth. If Nakano is going to be your base of operations, you should make the rounds and introduce yourself at the various establishments here. You'll be depending on these places a lot, so it's important to know they know who you are. Hmm, oh yeah, let me explain about the whiteboard. Hanging on the wall to the right of my desk is a whiteboard, you see. You can accept cases from there. Field practice is better than book learning. I'll put some simple cases up on the whiteboard, check it out, and start working on some cases. Alright, so cases and learn the place. Chapter 2, Search for the Father, Yuko Yamashina. Whiteboard. The whiteboard displays cases received by the office. Click accept on the case report to start investigating. You can check the details and current status of a case from the player menu on your digivice. When you report that a case is over, you'll be eligible for a reward. You cannot carry on multiple investigations at the same time. Uh, when you take on another case during an investigation, please temporarily stop the investigation of your current case. Select an, un uh, select an interrupted case report to continue your investigation from where you left off. The case d is, dedicated, uh, is indicated by color magnet. Urgent, normal, or digifarm. Rewards for urgent cases marked with red magnets are generally better. You should solve those cases first. And it's an urgent one. Top quality beans. 
Really? Really? Okie dokie. I shall take this most urgent case. Seems like you're able to accept a case. It's pretty straightforward. When you want to take on a new case, get one from the whiteboard just like that. I'll add new cases every so often, so make sure to check from time to time. <coughs> Sneezing is horrible. Anyway, go on and start talking to people. I'm counting on you for my case, too. Your narcissistic case. To change into any costumes you own, check out the hangar at the Cure Me at Detective Agency. I wanted to do a better costume. Oh, this is the door. I thought there was a door to the left. Oh, hey, it's you. And a cell phone. Are you part of the Matrix? Not cell phone, normal phone. Good day, Cyber Sleuth. How do you know? I thought it was about time you came by. Won't you come inside my little shop? There's something I have to do for you. We're bound by fate to do this. Hurry, please. Okay, then stick out your right hand. It'll be over soon. Hold still. Next is the other thing. Turn around. Don't move. Leave it all to me. You are disturbing. What happened? I installed a special program into your cyber form, adding some certain features. That's not how it works. I don't believe you. You can now scan physical all things with your right glove and capture cyber data of the target. In other words, once things from the real world are in your hand, they can become cyber data and be brought into cyberspace with you. Alright, that explains how inventory works between the world and stuff. Acquired data will be kept in your storage. Such a convenient world we live in today, don't you think? Modern technology and whatnot. This isn't just any technology! You shouldn't be surprised by such things. Your body will continue to. No, it's better if you don't know what the future holds. All should be as fate directs. But if you lose your way, come and see me. I'll sure be happy to point you in the right direction to the best of my ability. So you're basically a hint station. Use a connection jump to come directly to the Digilab from wherever you might be. The border between this world and the digital one is growing thinner and thinner. I can feel that. The proof of that lies in the fact that I was able to meet you in the real world. But that might not be a good thing as far as the world is concerned. This is likely the harbinger of far worse things to come. Meeting with you assures me of the light of hope that will shine for this world. <laughs> I wonder if we'll, <laughs> if I will enjoy this new world. Until we meet again in the Digilab. Weirdo. You're a weirdo. I can exit the Digilab from here, but I should just finish up this case for Nakano first. Hello. Thank you for playing our game. We have something if you book up. This is bonus content. Enjoy. Omnimon NX. Oh dear, it seems you don't have enough memory free. To download bonus content, Omnimon, you need at least six free party memory. I'm gonna have to clear my inventory for you. Oh dear, it seems you don't have enough me free memory. So much Digimons. So much Digimons. Obtain bonus content, train recovery and equipment item set, and miracle meat, power pine, clever carrot, friendship DX, brave point C, HP spray A, SP spray B, medical spray, full revival, panic, pixel, noise, cam, USB, pin block. I'm gonna have to come back and talk to you more because you have a ton of Digimon that I was unable to eat. Select map. Oh yeah, because I just exit from here. Hello. This is Murray McCurga's consultation room. Her advice is really solid. If you have life questions, you should go. If you turn right before the escalator, there's a consultation room at a detective agency. <laughs> the whole place looks awful shady. Most of the time, that consultation room has no one to consult with. Is it even a business? Oh dear, we're still getting ready to open. Just hold tight a bit. Hmm? You're the new kid at the Kurame uh, Detective Agency. In that case, you're a <laughs> Nakano Nakanoit as well. Welcome to Broadway. It's a little strange, but it's a lot interesting, don't you think? You're more than welcome as a customer. Come on by anytime we're open. So you're not open. Oh, 
Well, let's go up, I guess. Welcome, come in. You're the new hire the detective agency, and you just here to say hi? Oh, so you're a newbie, too. So am I. I just started this week, and I'm so nervous. I can't stop messing up. But I was told if I was at the front of the store talking to people, I'd get used to it. I'm going to work hard, so you work hard, too. Oh, but I can't go in. This place has a great selection of comics and magazines, and the one I want came out today. Good for you. So you used bookstore, and then we... Whenever I get too tired at TRF on the fourth floor, I come by here. Welcome to the best Tokiaki in the universe. You're not a true Nakanoan until you try it. You're not a customer. You're new at the detective agency. Well, that's a true Nakanoan. Well, that's just great. Need to get more young folk in here to breathe life into Nakano. At your service anytime. Ha 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 ha. Today I'm going to challenge the triple scoop strawberry chocolate and hmm, what else? I know. Gum. Fantasy Mansion. Right. Try one medal spin. Just to get Digimon medals? No, thank you. He sent me a Digiline message, so I wrote back, but I keep waiting and the reply hasn't come. That's because he hasn't sent one yet. Maybe he doesn't know what to say, but if he's interested, he'll write you back. I have this here. What is the purpose of this existence? What? Alright, that place doesn't exist. Whenever you want to look uh, at a lot of medals, just go to the Metal Maniac guy. He'll show you his collection. Oh, you're here to give me a medal too? What kind of medals you ask? Digimon medals as if there was any other kind. Collecting Digimon medals is my dream! It's my life! It's my everything! That's why I'm known as the Metal Man. So if you come across any Digimon medals, bring them to me and I'll gladly buy them off you. These are collecti collection items of various Digimon designs. You can obtain these in various places and s by selling them to the Metal Man, you can get money and view them in the collection. Once you have one, try and sell it. Can I do it right now? I want to sell medals. Yes. Then sold. No take backs. Thanks. Don't tell my wife about any of this, okay? Alright, now I want to look at your medals. Show me your collection. Yes, <laughs> so you want to see my collection? Don't tell my wife, okay? Quit saying that, dude. For the love of God. Oopamon. Adorable little tyke. Kunemon. I remember you. I think I had a mini model of you. Kunemon. Koromon, in a classic style. Tanamon, also classic looking. Sunomon. Pabumon, I do not recognize you, except for that you're one of the Digimon I've been beating up. You look kind of dopey there, it's hilarious. Punemon, classic baby Pokemon. Poyomon, it's a blob. Like, even more blobby than others. Oh, hey, I also remember you. Someday I'll collect them all. All 700! With your help, I'm one step closer. K-Cafe has such a relaxing mood. It's easy to just sit here for hours. The waitress is so nice, too. Ah, the lovely aroma of coffee. Amazing as always, boss. But I'm totally broke, so I can't drink any. So he's just standing by the boxes? A metal maniac is someone who really likes them, right? I gave him some rare medals the other day, and he paid me a whole lot for them. I come here every day after class. Hmm, where should I play next? The floors above the, this are residential. Broadway is such an interesting building. And these are very blurry pictures. Presenting the offline Coliseum. I'm your host, the cutie... Kitty Maid Aruru. Is there anything you'd like to ask me about? What's an offline coliseum? The offline coliseum is a place where tamers, tamers, meet, meet to test their strength. The coliseum has six different competition levels. Winning each cup gives you fabulous prizes. What are the rules? The rules are simple. Make it to the top of the knockout tourney to win. 
Even one loss will knock you back to the first round. Meow, so harsh. You can't recover between matches, but you can use items. Use them well. Interesting. Is that Tekken? That looks like Tekken up there. Because that looks like, uh, what's his name? Hayat. What's his name? So yeah, it just seems like the offline Coliseum isn't on yet. Hot-blooded gamer. I'm not leaving until I've beaten my best scores. To me, games are not just games. They're a constant battle against my future self. So if Goku was a gamer... We met him. The Goku Gamer. Everyone run in fear. The Goku Gamer is here. Card game? Welcome, we got a wide selection of cards from anime and games. What, you're not interested? Then you're blocking paying customers. Get lost. Dragon hand? Also, uh, you're wrong because you don't have any customers. It's hard to find smaller acts here. There's a lot more selection at Shibuya Records than the Shib <laughs> Shibuya. The place has a lot more at the place. Jaminkin's as popular as ever. He's at the top of the indie charts at every shop. Hey, Nokia. Uh, hey, you're safe. Ooh, not really. Oh, well, I assume so. After what happened in the digital world, you should be fine in the real one. <laughs> but are those little critters okay, I wonder? No way! You don't remember, you insensitive clod! The Digimon that protected me! Agumon and Gabumon, I remember. I'm a little worried. Had they not been around, it would have been... Well, I've got this problem, and I've had it since I was a kid. When things get serious, I always get frightened. It's like my mind goes blank and I freeze up. That must have sucked for you. I'm really sorry. Well, do you want to go shopping now? <laughs> I need to buy coffee beans for my apprenticeship anyway. Wow, you're a cyber sleuth now? That's great. A cyber sleuth, really? A cyber sleuth. What is that exactly? What's a cyber sleuth? No skin off my nose. I don't know if it's good or bad. I totally gave up on figuring it out. <laughs> It's probably better than being a hacker. That's I said it. I'm. Uh, that said, I'm a hacker. Arata, he was a hacker. He helped me out, but he was a total hacker. That's a little depressing. Knowing I was lied to this whole time. I haven't seen him since. Ah, uh, this is the pits. You are just flying all over the emotional spectrum, aren't you? Times like these, I want to throw on the new Jaminkin sim single. Get my freak on. <laughs> La 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 la, the sad mean bird. That's the newest hit Jaminkin single. You should pick it up. Would be hilarious if there was an actual in-universe, like, band. Or at least singer. I can act. But how do I do that? Uh, just maybe the shop is online now, or do I need to go to over there? Maybe I need to go over here. I'm actually a hacker in Eden, acting just on the edge of legality. What a thrill. And I'm actually a cop, and you're under arrest. Get on your knees. Guy on break. I really like this Dior disorganized feel of Nakano. It just feels like home. You have a messy home, my dude. Let's see. Is the shop online yet? What good are you? Those escalators will take you all the way to the third floor. To get to the other floors, you should take the elevator or stairs. There's a CD shop on the second floor and a cafe on the fourth. Ah, this building's a maze. I better check the shop list by the elevator. There's just so many sh metal thingies. Notice me, senpai. Time to go meet people in the building. I did. I thought I met everyone. Or maybe I just didn't go this way, did I? Maybe this way. Time to go meet people in the building. Who have I been missed? Oh. You? Mire Makuga. Mi Kagura. Mikakura. From the consultation room. She's really gorgeous, but she's never around. She's too busy being digital. All right. Really wish it would like actually, because I met you. 
Hmm. And I can... So I basically just need to go to the places that have... So, you use Bookshore. Bookshore. Yeah. I even talked to the metal... Ma ah! Don't do that. <laughs> when designing game, don't just blah blah blah. The other day, my friend got mugged by a hacker and they took her money. Those hackers really are awful people. Really? That's terrible. I wish hackers just didn't exist. But my Digiman! Alrighty. Because I'm fairly certain I've talked to everyone. Metal Man. Oh! Okay, I didn't know I could actually come in here. Another cat maid. Can I take your order? I recommend our special coffee blend. It's our top seller for the drink menu and for good reason. Welcome. Welcome. Please come in. Take any open seat. I'm here to buy coffee beans for my boss. You're Mrs. Kuromi's assistant. She hired an assistant? Wow. So you get to bask in a radiant beauty to your heart's content whenever you want, huh? I'm so jealous. It's outrageous. Truly outrageous. What's this? Why is everybody crazy? Boss? Yes, what is it? You don't look at me like that, do you? What? Oh, you creep, you total perv. I quit right here and now. What? What? And I'm taking full payment for this month's salary. Plus, I'll be billing you for 20 months of leering. You're paying my psychological damages? And our customer. You want some coffee beans, right? These are the coffee beans Mrs. Kyoko always buys. Here you are. What the fuck? What? Have I just been granted stolen coffee beans? Hang God, such an quitting out of the blue like that kind of puts me in a bind. Does it now? Well, then shall we negotiate, boss? Jesus Christ. For what? Why? For my elderly rate, of course. You're going to play stupid, I'll sue. We're talking a harassment lawsuit here. What the hell? They make quite the pair. This place is not going to last long. Be that as may, I've got the beans Kyoko asked for. Thank you very much. Come back anytime. Investigation of top quality beans complete. Report back to the detective agency. What the hell? I guess I can take the elevator. <laughs> That's just random and out of nowhere. Oh yeah, this is, you know, the big door that stands out entirely. I got money and CSP. It seems you've made your rounds. There are quite a bunch of characters, but that's what it takes to live in Nan Nakano. Next, I'm going to have you hit the streets. I want to see how well your digital self can blend in. In the real world, the final stage of your testing. Go around Shinjuku asking questions. You might find yourself the topic of rumors. People saw you looking like that, after all. While you're doing that, I'll clean up my office, my affairs. I've got to make a report on my investigation to Detective Matayoshi. And I forgot one important thing. It's about your mother. It was a blessing in disguise that your parents were working abroad for so long. They were going to come back when they heard you were sick, but I told them you were released from the hospital at the last minute. You should contact them and reassure them you're okay. I called my mother. She's very busy at work. Now I'm worried about her. How were your parents doing? Alive. Hmm, it seems there are no problems. It's good that you put them at ease. They're probably, they'll probably call again. I'll leave your parents to you. Handle them well. That's your duty as their child. You know, our parents that we don't even know because we haven't actually talked to them. Speaking of duty, it calls. Head to Shinjuku. Let's see. So I guess that's my mother. I know you plan to come over this weekend, but stay home and rest, okay? Is that my mother? Let's see. Jiminkin's new song brings me to tears. Give it a listen. You'll love it. Hmm. If you recommend it that much, I'll give it a try. I mean, it's just a song. I can probably... Ha <laughs> I can hack into the Spotify database and listen to it as I please. I know you plan to come over this weekend, but stay home and rest, okay? 
Hmm. Got it. Sorry for worrying you. Hmm. But I'm feeling great. I can come over anytime. But at the same time, got it. Sorry for worrying you. Because, I mean, they were probably notified. Your child is dying of a horrible disease. All right. Now the next thing that we're going to do is... Quickly... Go to the Digilab, back and forth. Just so that we can, like, uh, put Digimon away. Well, first things first. Well, actually. Move Digimon. Pokemon shall be moved to the Digibank. In fact, I think I'll move... I can't... Uh, we'll move... Ah, that's not what I wanted. We'll move all our Digimon over so that we can get, like, the DLC Digimon. Not, well, not Digi DLC Digimon. Snag! The way of things is odd. And next, we're gonna go ahead and evolve Pokemon! Digivolution possible. Oh, that's a higher level of evolution? Hmm. Level 8 or higher... Max HP and cam 20%. Oh, but I don't know you, but I do know you. You look neat. I know that silhouette. It's the cannon boy. Gotta go cannon. No wonder you're so strong. You're like two levels higher than them. Like in Digivolution. Let's see. Let's go ahead and get Poyomon converted. Damn it. Well, I guess we could, and we can digivolve you into different Digimon. Why does it look like a Yoshi egg? I didn't know there was a Digimon was a Yoshi. Transport Digimon. Deposit or withdrawal from another story's Digibank? I guess that's for like the. Bop, bop, bop. You know him. And now. We shall pick up a Digimon. I managed to get a decent amount of them. And let's take a look, because they're probably super powerful. Wait, no, they actually have, uh... Pabumon has more health than them! Why does Pabumon have more health than them? And, like, I kind of want to use them because Gallantmon... I wonder if I can de-digivolve them. If I can de-digivolve them, that would be kind of cool. Max level of 99? Oh, and I can Digivolve Pabomon, too. I need to look at that more. Look at the max level. I am getting used to the diddly D. Alright, we're gonna move you to the bank. These NX Digimons. And, like, I might use them in the future, just for funsies. And we'll keep Pabumon like that because they use up the least amount of data. And I think when they evolve, they take up more, more data. I will take the bonus content. And, of course, take a look. Crusader and Lippardmon NX. Huh. So basically just a bunch of knights. Wait. That was something... No. I, I thought that white piece above the field guide that was over there, I thought that was something else for some reason. Alright, Crusadermon, you're being moved over to the bank. 
And Leopardmon, you're also being moved over to the bank. Let's see. Max level five, then let's evolve you. Hmm. So we can just go ahead and get, but we can just like make a Motimon. And we're already on our way to getting a Tanamon. Or no, we already have Tanamon or something like that. Like, yeah, I think we created the Tanamon. So let's create this to get Biomon. Because I believe I recognize that silhouette. Max level of 13. Yo, come on. Uh, now the question is, who do I want to send to the island? <laughs> Alpha Mon. Vaccine Mega. Soul <laughs> Digitalization. Magic attack, 90%, 90 neutral damage to all foes. SX, SS in X edge style reduces SP consumed. Eh. And then Blade of the Dragon King. Yeah, for some reason I'm just like uh, not big on like using like uh, DLC like characters like this. Oh, but look at the little gallon mon. Oh, that reminds me. Can I digit evolve? Nope. Cannot be de-digivolved. Profound sadness. Is that a Gilmar? <laughs> of course you have like five billion evolution paths. So yeah. Consume up to five Digimon to enhance one of your current Digimon. Ah. Huh. Alrighty. Interesting. So if you have like a bun and then I guess you could like make new one, but hmm. Oh, messages. It's like the system is interesting, but I'm not sure how to use it. You can get checked out immediately at a Japanese hospital. I prefer that. And then all right, first check it out. The album just released. The last song is killer. Uh, but just to uh, make sure that there's nothing to reply to. But I should... Oh yeah, I was gonna do a thing. Well, no. Hmm, but I could just save... Uh, nah, that seems like trouble. All right, we'll bring Palmon back. Wanya... We'll bring Coromon along. We'll bring you along. And then we will move Tanamon over to the farm island. And Poyomon over. I, I wish I would like default to the empty spot. Poyomon is the leader of that island now. I feel like we're gonna have a... Oh yeah, and Gomamon. Gomamon can go to the island too. Hmm, which makes me wonder. Hmm. I'll have to get used to this system. Oh, I can actually see my wallet? I have 4,200 yen. All right. Leave the Digilab. I put away all my DLC digis. And, uh, lol. I guess we'll go ahead and wander around outside a bit. But first things first, I'm gonna save again. Just losing my mind. Losing my mind, losing my mind. We'll wander around just a little bit. Maybe the store will be shut up. Right, map time. Central Hospital, Shinjuku. To Shinjuku we go. Valu Vision. 
Oh, hey, Arada. Looking like a weirdo. Looking like an anime projector. Hey, Loberata. Neon, you're all right. What? Me? I'm fine as well as you can see. If anyone was gonna be looking for trouble, I'm guessing it'd be Nokia. You can either peg her for a chicken or a taffy, but she gets what's coming to her. Rude. But still, that monster. That's the first time I've seen it. I heard rumors of some nasty program preying on data. Then I asked the admins about it, but they insisted they knew nothing. Don't you think it's a little strange? The admins should have noticed something like that. Something bothers me about all this. I have half a mind to look into things properly. At the very least, this doesn't seem to be an official event or some prank by some third-rate hacker either. Huh? You say I'm a hacker too? Well, what can I say about that? It is what it is. Oh, I've got an appointment to keep. I've got to be off. I'll see you later. Dodging the point, I see. I'm here in Shinjuku to visit a bunch of clients, but first time for some grub. I'm looking forward to look- I look forward to this every day. Shinjuku has so many cheap, delicious eats. Strange rumors, like a manufactured digital humans escaping from a secret research facility deep below Shinjuku? Honestly, only a child would believe that stuff. Of course, I'm still a child and do believe it. <laughs> first of all, I need to find the entrance to the underground lab. That kid is hilarious. Alright, so I'm wandering around that section. My friend's going nuts over some invisible phantom. Said it glowed blue and you could see right through it. I looked it up and apparently SNS have been blowing up with similar talk and sightings. Of course, no one has any photo photographic evidence. All that stuff's completely unbelievable anyway. If only I could tear away my junk data and scare them. Maybe I'll have lunch at the fashionable cafe. Or I could get pork cutlet like I always do. Yeah, no competition on that one. Mood! Indeed. Uh, for work I've got to go to Shibuya, then Rop Ropongi, then Akibara. I run around more than the train line. Uh, if only these companies were on Eden, then I could just zip over with their URL. Also mood, I guess. They've been doing some guerrilla filming for some monster movie around here. They even did a car chase right in the middle of town. So risky. Yeah, I could see that happening. You're on a budget, so you're like, fuck it. Run people over. Is that a glowy? Is it glowy? Arcadiamon? Skies over Arcadiamon. Head straight from here to go downtown. Yeah, it's almost like I looked at a map. Huh? 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 Okay, that guy, the voice actor, did a great job. What are you doing around here? I thought you went to your mom's place. It was overseas. God, what country was it? Hey, Sakura, where was it again? What? Oh, yeah, uh, Ganma? Ah, that's totes wrong! That's just a foreign country! It's part of Japan! Yeah, uh, right. Dang, she's been like this a lot lately. She's all into Jim Jiminkin, it seems. First it's all Jiminkin this and Jiminkin that. 24-7, now it's this. She stays at home watching his videos all day long. I'm getting kind of worried, you know. Lol. But anyway, you! You! What are you doing here instead of being overseas? A cyber sleuth? What the hell is that? That sounds mad sick. Cyber sleuth. Did you hear that, Sakura? Neon's a cyber sleuth. Hey, I'm talking to you. Sawa <laughs> sawa. <laughs> it sounded like he got shot. I thought I could go through to him, but... I don't even know who you are. But have you heard of Jimikin? Yes. That's a band, a rock group. Jimmy's all super duper hot right now, but I legit don't get why. Well, the songs aren't half bad sometimes. So you're a cyber sleuth and can skip school whenever you want now? We had a farewell party. I cried for you. For reals. But I guess we still get to see each other after all. Right, Sakura? 
Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Guess everything worked out. Time to report back. This big city TVs are huge. They must be 100 times bigger than mine. The screen's so much nicer than mine, too. Look at these colors. You think it's plasma? I can't believe I brought this Yahoo with me. What an embarrassment. Oh. <laughs> the bumpkin boy and bumpkin girl. But what about doubt? Well, seriously, I didn't expect them to be, like, somebody we were supposed to know. Shop Subway. Why struggle meaninglessly? It makes more sense to flee the situation, and it works for any kind of battle, you know. Hello, hacker. Well then, what server should I make my next hacking target? You just talk about it out in the open? Wait a minute, aren't tickets for the big concert on sale today? Oh, uh, is that so? I do remember something about a limited sale going on at the Eden ticket booth. Then what you're standing around for? You should be logged on standing in front of that ticket booth. Yes, yes, you're right, as always. Well, those tickets aren't going to get themselves. I've been really looking forward to going with you, after all. Shinjuku is so many people, but not a good man anywhere, LBR. I don't know what that abbreviation means. Am I not hip? Am I not down with the bad stuff? Reminiscent of a cyber sleuth costume. Nokia t-shirt. Agumon, Gabumon, Gomamon, Gotomon. I own a, a dotted Gotomon t shirt. But they're expensive. I wish I could, like, view them. Like, Gotomon t shirt. Victory Uchida, Beelzemon Emblem T-shirt, 15th anniversary, 20th anniversary, summer camp. Oh, is that like the summer camp from the first show? But at the same time, Cyber Sleuth. But the Gatomon one is so expensive. Well, I guess I could get the Cyber Sleuth one. Let's see. What can I sell? HP spray. Complete restores HP for all allies. Medical spray. and restores HP and SP for all. Like, I don't want to sell some... Oh, feed that increases Digifarm stuff. So I need to use... Actually, go to the Digifarm. Yeah, moshi moshi. Poyomon is on the farm. Is that max level? Thank you. It does not, and you can't just run away from a company presentation, so you're gonna get fired. I think he's responding to the guy back there. The Shinjuku Underground, it's just down those stairs. No need to go to the station. But it's right down the stairs. Sports Shop 5, Life Plan. Game Rental, Disc Rental, Comic Rental, Comic Rental. Cap dog? I'm just re I'm just reading the various shops that are in um like uh I, what's the proper word? It's not English. It's Romanization? Is it So first things first, we're gonna go and Digivolve Poyomon. Actually, that's an interesting thing you could do. You can just, like, throw a Digimon into the farm and then, like, uh, try and see various... Bibbidi bop. Poyomon is at max level, then evolve. Ah, another Bukamon now. Let's go to the other one. See the various paths of Digivolution. Oh, it's you! You lead to Patamon! I know you. Tanamon, max level 9. Gomamon, max level 20. I 
Island Expansion. Two types of items are used to expanding Farm Island. Farm Development Kit increases the number of islands. This will allow you to keep a greater number of Digimon. Farm Expansion Plugin increases the rank of an island. This will increase the number of locations where you can place farm goods. Use the directional buttons or tilt uh, the left stick right to see details of the Digimon you are looking at in your Digifarm. Alright, so offer food to select Digimon. The basic Digimeat will be replenished over time, so check back regularly. Digimon on a farm need a leader. You can change the leader on an island using change leader function. The results of training, development, and investigations carried out on the island will change depending on the leader's personality. Gomamon, you become leader, because you're a searcher. Enhanced Digimon. You can improve the ability of a Digimon depending on its personality and which Digimon is its leader. Develop item development. Investigate. Find cases or items. So the development or investigation. Digimon is a leader and set the right farm goods as an improvement in results. Investigate. Digimon Island has started investigating. Oh no. It's this function. But okie doke. Let's see. Max level 15. Max level 13. 13. 9. 13. Just, but we should probably then go back and then we'll probably end the stream. And again, nobody cares when I disappear like that. I exist outside and people go crazy. Hmm, the folks who saw you earlier didn't seem much uh, seem make much of a big deal about it. If that's so, you'll be fine walking the streets. By the way, not to change the subject, but I've readied a new Eden account for you. Your existing account isn't being recognized properly on the Eden network. As a result, you can't log in normally. You can invade a service using a connection jump, but with an invalid account, you won't be able to do much. That would hinder your work, so from now on, log in with a new account I got for you. Alrighty. Well, it's almost time. Do you have an appointment? It's time for work, dear assistant. Uh, is this the Kirame Detective Agency? Right on time. She seems like she'll be an excellent client. Welcome to the Kirame a Detective Agency. I always trip over that word for some reason. I thought it would be you once I said shy girl. Thank you. It's you! What's this? You two know each other? I wouldn't put it that way. I invaded. Um, well, regardless, you are Yuko Yamashina, my new client. Yes, I'm Yuko Yamashina. Let me inquire then into the details of the case. Please be seated on that sofa there. I shall stand because I'm a creep. My, my father has disappeared. Disappeared. He's gone missing. I'd like to ask a detective to seek out and find my missing father, Makoto Yamashina. Hmm, do you have any info on your father? Yes, the basic information is all here. I'll send you the data. But the only possible clue I have would be the Eden account info he used. When, when you qu query the account info, it says it's still currently active, but... There's no response when you call. None whatsoever. Please find my father. I understand. We'll take the case on. Thank you very much. Well, then let's get started. I'll let you know if there's any developments. Would you mind giving me your contact information? That won't be necessary. I'll come by again in a little while. I must be going. Pardon me. I see. That is a very odd place to put your keyboard. Mr. Yamashina's account info checks out. And my conclusion is this. I believe that someone has hacked this account. There are numerous strange points of activity that I can see of the account and multiple Makoto Yamashinas roaming Eden. What? It's got to be the result of the account raid. Everyone's been clamoring about that sort of thing recently. I want you to start by tracking down the active traces of the Yamashina account. Around, account hacking is sometimes connected to organized crime. Take your investigation to Eden and ask questions. We might get some info on these account raids. You're up, my dear Watson. <laughs> Proceed to Eden and start asking around. You got the keyword, account raiding.
Yo, you're pretty free these days, right? Let's go hang out somewhere. You're free now. Jaminkin's giving away some exclusive merchandise. Let's get on it. Hmm. Hey, Ryota. How's your homework coming? Hmm. Yeah, let's go. What? Huh? What do I have to register for? But it doesn't say that. Is this a translation error? But I'll say that. Mm, nothing there. Are you sure you want to connect jump? No, we should probably use enough. Can we? Uh, we can probably just, uh... It's good that you can shop. Now, get everything you need before you leave. Welcome. I forgot to check out the shirt. Max L equipment. Various equipments. Speed, attack, HP, SP, and then just uh, HP and SP capsules. All right, but first I'm gonna go see my new shirt. Disappointing. I mean, if sadness. Why would they give you the option to buy that? In case you're like, you don't even think you can sell it. It's mildly different, how dare they? Now I can't afford the Gatamon t shirt. Right? Yep, yeah, because I'm 2,000 off. Damn you, fireman. Ooh. Oh, yeah, I already have some. Well, we'll look at that, then we'll give some items. Hey, what kind of things do you like? I don't really know a lot about you. I like many things, so I can't list them all. Let's learn lots about each other. You know, a basic bitch answer like that. Wrong one. Because I want to give equipment to my Digimon. Wrong one. Anti-poison. Removes poison from one battle Digimon and restores. Let's see. Neutral attribute damage, negative 30%. Non-neutral attribute damage, plus 5. Prevents confusion. Prevents dot. Combo rate up. Reduces defense and, uh, and intelligence penetrating damage. Very important. Oh, I can't give you equipment. Oh, I guess you can only give equipment to, like, your main Digimon? Or is it just, like, one equipment overall? Let's see. Yeah, it's just your main Digimon. Hmm. Interesting. Would be kind of crazy if you just went... This Digimon will do all these things. Man, now I'll quickly head back to the island because I want to check that. Like, now I'm like, want to micromanage this all. Oh, and the investigation goes on for a long time. So, Digimeet. Hmm, switch feed. Attack up, intelligent up. Big cam and ABI up. Whereas that's only cam up for three minutes. I'll save my increasey thingies. Hmm. Well, I guess let's connect jump. We'll just go to the entrance. Maybe see. 
It's the bastard. It's the fuck. It's you. Hi, hi, I'm Mr. Nabbit. I'm Eden's cute and clever mascot. I don't trust you. What is it? Account rating. Yes, I've heard a lot of lady. A, a, a horrid group of delinquents, really. Guess just letting you know you already talked to him about it. Oh, it's terrifying. That account rating stuff, actually, I don't know much about it. What about you, old man? What do you know about account rating? Have you heard about account hacking lately? What it's supposed to mean? It's like cutting down weeds in the backyard. What do you want? Guess Zaxxon did that account rating. They're just running wild lately. I don't know where they are, but there's lots of them. Probably someone who knows about it in Kolu. And two new messages. Ah, that's not what I want, but you could read. Oh yeah, we already read you. How about you, Gomamon? Can digivolve into multiple. A sea beast Digimon, covered with insulating fur and capable of moving on land. Its belt of so short white hair gets longer as it grows, and turns brown when the creature has grown up. It's a rascal who loves to meddle with everything it sees. The red hair growing on top of its head and back re reacts to its emotions, standing on end when it's angry. Gomamon's claws are strong enough to easily cleave thick ice, so you'll feel the pain if you take it lightly. Its special move, Marching Fishes, commands a school of small fish. Oh no, how horrifying. Not a bad of small fish. That's my biggest nightmare. And then, all the DLC. A member of the Royal Knights. Despite being a knight, this Digimon is counter to them, and normally it does not show itself. With its blue mantle, it is called the Aloof Hermit, and occupies the empty seat in the Royal Knights. It possesses the ultimate ability called Alpha Enforce, which instantly replays what had happened in battle. Its special moves are Excalibur Grad Alpha, that draws light from a magic circle piercing the enemy and soul digitalization, where it creates a huge magic circle to summon a mythic monster. A holy knight Digimon that is a member of the Royal Knights and King that rules all over Nightmon. More than basic morality, Crusadermon is loyal to its own concept of justice, and it will do anything for it. It believes that ruling through power is the most peaceful way, executing duties with ruthless efficiency while also showing compassion to the weak. Special moves are Special Masquerade, which slashes enemies with four blades from its body, and Fist of Athena, which shoots out short-range shockwaves. I'll just go ahead to Gallantmon, because I'm biased. A Holy Knight Digimon that is a member of the Royal Knights, who are the highest-ranked Digimon in network security making it impossible to break the security rules in their presence. It has virus attributes and it also is a guardian of the net. If this balance is broken, it can become very dangerous. It has holy armor made of refined high purity chrome digizoid. It has holy lance gram in its right hand and holy shield aegis in its left. Special moves are lightning joust and shield of the just. And uh... on royalty except pretty pleased with sugar on top all right let me hear some tales from the service loop talk to you then and let's see what's in this shop development patch changes digimon personality to builder so if you just want to override your digimon soul maybe i'm getting too attached to them but come on but yes, we've been going for a decent amount of time, and I should probably stop before I just, like, super roll into things. So I just need to find save again. For some reason, the dark shading on the save button just, like, blocks it out of my mind. But yeah, so far I'm really digging this. There's a lots to do, lots to digivolve and stuff. It's just a very interesting game. Hmm. A part of me wonders if I should continue streaming it or play it on my own time because I was like, I need. To, it's this weird thing where, I, like, depending on the feel of a game, it's just like, hmm, is this a, a game that, like, feels like it's good for streaming or is it a game that I feel like I'll do a lot of repetitive stuff and it would be better to do on my own? Like, I don't think. 
Like, one, one example is Dishonored, because I really like to play, like, those kind of stealth games, especially ones with achievements where, that are like, aha, uh -huh, go through without killing anyone, and, like, Dishonored, where it's go through without killing anyone and go through without being seen, so I do a lot of save scumming. And I was just like, I don't think that's a very fun thing to watch, so... I don't know. I'll probably do a bit of Digimoning, like, 200%ing dungeon encounters on my own. But maybe I'll do a second stream before I make a decision just to, like, get a feel for it now that we're out of the prologue area and have more access to the core game and see if it's, like, uh, super fun to do. We shall see. But for now, that shall be it. If you enjoyed what you saw, then feel free to hit follow on twitch.tv slash neoniceywings to catch me playing these games live. If you want an exact time of when I stream, I usually try to go live at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time of Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. But if I ever get the urge to play a game just on any old day, you can just check, uh, check the schedule and see if it's slated. Because that's just a neat feature that isn't really talked about much from what I've seen. Other things is you can also watch archives of previous streams over on youtube.com slash neoniceygames. I'm uncertain if it's actually Neon Ice Games because, like, uh, YouTube channels, I don't think, correlate directly to the URL, but they... But yeah, the YouTube channel, Neon Icy Wings... No, not Neon Icy Wings, Neon Icy Games. Brain is on fire from playing too much Digimon. But Neon Icy Games is where I post the various archives of me streaming. Up right now is the archival footage of me playing Mass Effect 1 and 2, with Mass Effect 3 being uploaded currently, as well as games like Undertale and Kirby the Forgotten Land are all there for your binging pleasure. And then if you want to see my various attempts at art, like my little avatar in the corner, you can see other such arts on Twitter, DeviantArt, Newgrounds, and Tumblr. All of them at Neon Icy Wings, except for Tumblr, which is Icy Wings Art Corner. But yes, but yes, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to catch you dudes next time. Bye, bye.